Hello <laughs> and good evening to everyone tonight. It is good to see you all. Um, I am Carson Wright. Uh, you are at Ghostlight RPGs. We are playing uh, the Contrabark, Dogs in the Bark tonight. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but I'd love to introduce these fine folks who are with me. Uh, we will, I, I don't know what order to go in, but I would love if we could introduce ourselves and our dogs. Well, our character dogs, sure, but I'm more interested in your real life dogs in your life, <laughs> special special animals in your life. Hmm. Let's go with. Uh, I'll just start. Uh, uh, we'll start with Graham, and we'll go around. Graham, Jamie, Ben, and then we'll end with Devin. Hello, I'm Graham Ward. He, him. Um, I'm going to be playing Hudson, who is a Bernie's Mountain Dog, real kind of uh, tough, muscular brooding caretaker of the pack um in my real life i also have a bernie's mountain dog her name is kaylee spelled in the uh scotch gallic fashion so like extremely strange with um like accents and it, you know i d h at the end and people are so confused there's a pronunciation guide on her name tag on her collar so Great. uh <laughs> i didn't name her so I take no credit, but she's uh, adorable and just like a wonderful little nugget and gets so sad if I'm disappointed in her. She's the greatest. Uh, I am Jamie Hansen. Uh, he, him, playing uh, Siren, a uh, greyhound, former racing dog. Um, yeah, he's uh, sleek, he's fast, he's ambitious. Um, he's a little full of himself, but yeah, he's a good boy, as as all dogs are. Um, my real dog is nothing like uh, Siren. He is a tiny little uh, Chihuahua Terrier mix mm. named Rory. But uh, interestingly, in sort of in conjunction with the movie that came out this weekend, when we adopted him, his name was Paul Dano. Um, although I did not see the resemblance. Uh, when the adoption happened, but that was the name he had at the shelter uh, that we eventually Dano. changed. Yeah. Dano. Love it. <laughs> hey there, my name is Ben Isaacs. I use he, they pronouns. I'm playing Lysander, who is a uh, Saluki sweetie pie. Um, if you just Google Saluki, pick the most like endearing, majestic, beautiful looking one. And that's Lysander. Um, I, um, I mean, the dogs in my life I, are really just like owned by my family. But I have many dog friends um, of all shapes and sizes. That's the nice thing about having friends with dogs is that you make a lot of dog friends as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Devin Amuko, uh, she, her. I'm playing Corgi V Waffles, or Waffles for short. Uh, she is a cardigan Corgi um, who's a little sassy and um, is into everything and is curious about life. Uh, and in real life, I have a Corgi. Uh, <laughs> um, her name is Luna. And uh, I also have a Greyhound German Shepherd mix uh, named Logan, who that's his name from the shelter. Um, and we like to joke that we have the dog with the tallest legs and the dog with the shortest legs because uh, they do not match in height in any way possible. <laughs> does the one fit under the other? Like, he does, that... yeah. <laughs> and when she was uh, when she was a puppy, and he because he was a greyhound mix, so he would run really fast and show she was turning, learning to run and chase. And so he would run huge circles and she would cut in and still not catch him. <laughs> and it was just like a... Oof. It was it was adorable, and it still kind of happens. And she's much older now. <laughs> Fun fact: uh, Logan taught my dog Kaylee how to drink out of a river. So proud wow. of that fact. <laughs> was Kaylee afraid to? She just never understood that if water was running, you could lap it into your mouth. She thought it had to be in a bowl. <laughs> oh. oh, wow! That is. <laughs> So sweet, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, Emblematic. I, guess, I guess this isn't for me. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, what a uh, it's well, going to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where we'll be in their bowl. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, thank you all of you for playing with me tonight. Uh, we're taking a break from our regularly scheduled sessions of The Contraband, our Blades in the Dark uh, actual play. Um, and this week we're filling it in with an in-universe uh, episode of uh, The Contrabark. Uh, very much intended pun, uh, obviously. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. I'm the greatest. So uh, this is this is played <laughs> with a um, system called Dogs in the Bark, uh, which is a, a playset based off of um, uh, Blades in the Dark. Tim Denny uh, made this Dogs in the Bark uh, based off of John Harper's uh, Blades in the Dark. So we're very very happy to be playing it. Um, it's such a delight to live within uh, kind of two spaces that I love, which is Dog World and also mm, Duskfall and Blades in the Dark. So it's like a perfect happy uh, medium. So thank you for joining us tonight. Um, as always, um, we're glad to see you um, here at Ghostlight RPGs, uh, where we are keeping the spirit of live theater um, alive. Um, and there's lots of cool stuff happening uh, on the channel, which uh, we can talk about um, later in the show. Um, okay, anything else I'm forgetting before we uh, before we uh, let loose the dogs of war, as it were? So Shakespeare thing. <laughs> Sorry, I should I should. Uh, I should sit down, perhaps. Oh, that was <laughs> Thank you. Never apologize for a Shakespeare reference. All right. Especially Great. when it's being billed as such. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely so right. We're about it. Uh, all right. Well, before we do get started, um, a content warning. Our Adventures Tonight star, a furry and good with people friends. Um, but our pups, um, like our dogs in the real world, uh, unfortunately live in a dark and dangerous world. Um, tonight's episode may include harm to animals um, and implied harm um, to children. And now, wag your tails, sniff some butts, and sit, sit, good boy, sit with us into the Contra Bark. You can smell it, can't you? Scraps. Ooh boy, lots of scraps here tonight at the Night Market Dog Racing Track, and it is packed tonight. There's a huge potential to score here, but it is also pretty dangerous for a pack of strays like you. Stray dogs in Duskfall don't have the best reputations. Um, at best, uh, you're a petty annoyance taking up precious space and uh, resources, and at worst, you may even be a potential food source. It's not unheard of for the rat catchers of Duskfall to scoop up and send captured strays to the canneries of the Ministry of Preservation. So needless to say, uh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, uh, quite, quite certainly. But here you are tonight on the cusp of potentially something great. Smells wafting through the air as you can look out at the uh, racing arena out here in uh, Night Market. Um, and this attracts all kinds of people. Um, unfortunately, um, it doesn't really attract all kinds of dogs, especially a pack of strays like yourself. But you're here for one reason. You're here for some scraps. Boy, there are scraps to be had. So, um, you would know upon arriving here uh, some information about this particular um, event. Um, you know that there is a lot of concessions, food, maybe things that have been dropped. You know that there are uh, 
potential uh, winnings in the readying pens where dogs will wait before their races and are doted upon, or so you think, uh, by their owners and trainers before they race. Um, and potentially, um, maybe the biggest score of all, you can see it happening right now. A race has just concluded and a beautiful white long haired dog has won this kind of, the, the, the like heavyweight uh, uh, a race here. And he's sitting up on the kind of a pedestal. There's some clapping and applause as uh, the, uh, the kind of officiator up there uh, opens the top of this bucket and scoops out the golden slop. It's kind of yellowish and slaps it down into a bowl in front of them. <laughs> a sort of ceremonial award for each winner. Um, and everyone, mm. uh, you know, gives a big cry as the dog tucks in and has a few bites and licks its chops. Before Hudson is, you know, beginning to salivate at the corners of the mouth. It's kind of like dripping down onto oh. his his bushy chest fur. Oh yes, no. <laughs> absolutely. And and it would be difficult not to because uh, honestly, it's just a busy night. Uh, the the feeling of like a of you remember the the glitz and glamour of like a high school football game on a Friday night. It's like mm -hmm. that only, you know maybe a bit higher class in some places. It's attracted people of all types. So there are up in the boxes, um, you know, some of the more fancier elite of Duskball, um, as well as some of their hounds and companions. Um, and there are also um, the poorer and less fortunate uh, who uh, also make up some of the stands and, and make up for most of the rowdiness. Um, but it's an exciting night lined up with races. Um, so where do you guys think you uh, are going. You've had some time. You've come here with a purpose. And that purpose, Hudson reminds everyone, is food. Mm. Keep your I eyes peeled. It. Keep your noses in the air. We'll be able to get something good. I'm here for the grand prize. All right. I think we can get it. What's the. How? You mean the golden slot? The gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the oh, can we... I don't know if I'm gonna make it work, guys. I kind of got sore legs, and I don't... do they have like a sore legged way? Are are you mean you're worried about your own physical potential? I, just, I know, I know, I'm fast, but like, I don't know, like. You know, Waffles, faster, you're a good I mean. dog. Well, I'm not good a good dog. dog. You deserve the golden slop just as much as anyone else. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. Waffles. Well, you don't have to race. Yeah, you know, we, you play to your strengths. Yeah, we don't Thank have you. to. Thank you. We don't have to win. We just need to get the slop. Oh, so true. Yeah. It's That's a so loopholes, and the humans never think of it. <laughs> never, not once. In fact, it's at this moment that somebody, let's say you're, you know, kind of back behind, right? You don't want to be spotted. Um, so kind of off to the side and one of these doors opens at the back of one of these concession stalls. And one of these uh, humans, in fact, uh, uh, carrying kind of a bucket of drippings and things uh, goes to go slosh it out in a kind of a, a larger garbaging uh, pen and leaves the door open uh, as if on cue when you say loopholes. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, uh, um, gonna try to prowl in there then. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. The door's Let's... open. No, it's it's an opportunity. Go for it. So uh, make a prowl, make a prowl roll for us, and let's see how it goes. Can I, can I set you up? Can I set you up by just running by the door real fast and then running right, like going. <laughs> <laughs> What's like your to, intention like, here? To, to catch a look, to kind of, oh. and, and and then tell, give Simon just kind of a heads up of what might away him inside. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, go, yeah, absolutely. Great. I will roll, what will I roll? I will roll mm, finesse because I'm not, well, maybe hunt would be better because I have a intention with my senses. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll roll it. That's a five. Five, perfect. Nice. Okay, so you go zipping by. You zip by for a second pass. Uh, the good news is, is that you are um, uh, seeing that it is empty inside. 
and there are definitely a few easy pickings in here for a little pre pre race snack if that's what you're interested in. Of um, course. Yeah. So you could uh, you could definitely pass that along, but you do find yourself running and really enjoying yourself a bit that you get a little bit of a little excited. You in fact you you kind of pass the, uh, the the guy with the bucket as you zip by at one point. <laughs> Oh. And he's like, Sorry. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and he uh, he kind of <laughs> says to you, he's not shouting, he doesn't seem angry, um, um, but he's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's how dogs understand people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hudson in instinctively has like um, leaned back and is sitting, nose up, and with that like urgent look in his eye, trying to make eye contact with the guy holding the drippings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. And uh, I almost called well, Waffle my real dog name. Um, <laughs> uh, Waffle sneaks over to the door um, and is worried about it getting closed. So she uses her um, her back weight, her booty, to hold the door open. Oh, fantastic. Corgi booty. Make sure you guys, Corgi booty action. I would say this would be an increased effect for any prowl movement that you make on this. All right. This, okay. is, this is true doggy teamwork. Mm -hmm. And that is a six. Oh my yeah. gosh! All right, so um, lanky and and skinny, the greyhound prowls in um, and easily finds that there's like some fried bits of, un uh, you know, it's questionable meat, let's say. Um, but it definitely smells good. I'm not asking uh, questions. No, absolutely. <laughs> and so you're able to, to who? Yeah. <laughs> you're definitely able to scoop up a couple of scraps, uh, just, you know, a taste. He's running low on stock, which is probably why he's kind of cleaning out anyway. Um, but there's a few scraps that you could grab. And is there now a, like a puddle of the drippings? Oh, yeah, it's messy in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Hudson's just like... Yeah. Yeah, the, the man has now dumped his drippings. He's headed back. Hudson's drinking up. In fact, uh, the man's on his way back. Um, and and with your six, you could probably get in and out if you want, Siren, unless you feel tempted by anything else inside. Is, so this is a concession stand. So like, yeah. yeah so. Um, is there any way further into the racetrack from inside of it? Uh, yes, you could. This would be a concession stand like positions near kind of like the top of these these kind of bleachers as it were these risers mm -hmm. um, where people are sitting and so there's kind of a a, a few of these ki ugh, types of stands and stalls um from here you could reasonably if you wanted jump out the front there are no customers at this particular um area so as he's closing up shop um you could potentially jump through and kind of enter your way uh into uh, the the uh not the uh, let's see yeah jump right in basically to the inner enclosures we do we want to get in yeah oh, yeah husband could i have a lift can you of course me a yes little bit? Thank you. yes and i'll like get my nose under your your bum and kind of flop you up <laughs> cool <laughs> why don't we all make a prowl roll to get in if we're all going in uh through this let's all go in how many do i just roll one i have yeah, if two you've little, got one i have two oh, little two. circles filled in yeah so roll two dice. yes yeah two, two dice yeah one for each noted bit. almost yeah. like it's easy to follow it's kind of and i have none so i'm going to be rolling two and keeping the lower roll perfect how are we looking a four, not yeah. bad. Six. Okay, six? Six. All right, so easy peasy. Um, I think, Siren, you probably go first, and this is an easy uh, jump for you. <laughs> Greyhound, big jump. Waffles gets boosted up and Lysander shortly after. Um, Lysander, you're like on the counter of this before you jump down and Hudson, the, the human finally comes back and opens the door and sees these dogs hopping through and he's like, uh, <laughs> like uh, I'll, I'll turn it at him and <clears throat> yeah and uh uh do you are you commanding him or something maybe oh yeah yeah sounds good if that's sure. yeah, yeah well, if your intention but Other he's like, otherwise it looks like he's gonna try and intervene and get us back out yeah yeah okay I'll he's roll like he's like grabbing a broom but he puts his hands like <laughs> <laughs> okay it's only a three Okay, um, and he's like, and he swats at you. 
with the with the broom, um, which isn't gonna do uh, m much much harm yeah. really. He's just trying to shoo you out, um, and he kind of starts yelling a bit louder as if to you know it's like be as big as you can, be and loud like a you know a bear. So he's like, yeah. <laughs> Hudson does the like pounce from back and forth with his two front hoofs and just. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> trying to get like you know the attention here while the others get a chance to escape awesome yeah i think that will buy them time to slip into that um and he uh starts calling <laughs> kind of out <laughs> it to the crowds <laughs> who might be out there like <laughs> you know and he's like pushing at you with this broom um we're going to add a bit of a we're going to start a little clock here uh which is um uh, I wanted a clever name for it, but we'll just call it um, Loud Doggies. Um, and and Loud Doggies, uh, we're going to put uh, one tick into this. It is a six-part clock. So uh, the rest of you get in, and he seems to be kind of like, <laughs> are you going to go in or past him? Or Hudson, what's your what's your plan? Um, my, my main goal, especially because I failed at my command, is just to like take the attention myself. So whatever that right. means in terms of what he's doing. But if I do have a window, yeah, I'll bolt. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I think the others could... are safe, Finn. Yeah. Yeah. I think you've handled yeah. it enough. He's more interested in you than he is in these s s very pretty looking ones. In fact, he probably looks at Siren and, and Lysander and thinks they're probably racing tonight. Since they're so beautiful and slender, uh, totally miss the corgi though. Yeah, so they're safe. You can bound through there, and, you know, scratch the. Yeah, I like top. knock over a couple things from the yeah. counter with my <laughs> tail as it whaps back and forth, and yes. then I'll take off into the course. Fantastic, beautiful. Um, all right, so you guys are inside, and as you look around, um, you, you kind of get your bearings. This might be your first time inside of this night market. Um, and a few things of note, some recognizable um, forces at work here. You see that there are um, scattered amongst the people a couple uh, brown cloaked individuals um, that uh, are all kind of looking around. One of them holds a pole um, and they're kind of just looking like they're patrolling the area around up in here. Um, you also see some other familiar faces, such as people holding food, um, other dogs. You can see that down the readying pens and the actual track is a bit um, across the, the, um, the track from where you are and kind of down um, at the bottom where they actually get ready um, to launch them for the races. So. Carson. Yes. Would I, as a former racing dog, I'm assuming yeah. I never actually competed in this specific uh, location, but um, would I kind of have a certain degree of familiarity with like the way that the tracks are set up? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, if yeah, if you've raced before, you're looking at this, and it's it's very familiar territory. It's it'd be the equivalent of let's go back to high school football of going on the away game when you're in the band because I never played football and being like, hey, it's a football field and these are locker rooms. Like, like you have a sense of how things are working. Um, in fact, maybe there's a little a, a flutter of of excitement if this is something you enjoyed. But oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, you you know what's going on. This is the big leagues, guys. This is uh, the, uh, I don't have a in-universe reference to make, so I'm gonna stop talking about it. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's, like, there's, the, there's no doggy Grand Prix, thing. so. <laughs> have you ever run, did you ever run here? I I should have, I was this close. I, I was in the qualifiers and then the, oh. the race that happened where kind of flubbed it and then you know oh. the owner got killed and but i i would have i would have won if i'd made it here i'd have been getting that golden slop that's sad. you're here now but both because you didn't win and because a human died yeah uh, yeah well, well this moment there's a crack 
and uh, and off. You can see down on the track, there's a race, and dogs are barking. Just like barking, chasing what is this like sparkling, bluish, like electric looking uh, little lead that's, you know, that's, that they're chasing through the race. Until thrillingly, it's a very close race, and this one kind of black nosed dog here just gets right through. Just by a oh. just by a nose, um, and is uh, escorted over to the pedestal where they are given once again the ceremonial golden slot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's uh, not so bad. So bad. We uh, we want to try to. Try to sneak it, find it. Well, I don't know. First, we need to identify where it is. I think like, we saw well, them spooning it, right? Yeah. In fact, mm-hmm. you see it once they spoon it. Uh, in between um, heats, they roll it out. It's on a like a pack. Of, it's like it's like on a little dolly essentially and it's a pretty good sizable tub and they roll it back in to kind of the inner chambers underneath the um, kind of uh, underneath the uh, bleachers 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 Dad, I think we need to sleuth our way around the seat get to the dolly from the back unless one of you want to wait but like once we, we've been through this I can't do that yeah it's at this point Sorry to interrupt you. I'm not not to interrupt you, but you're looking around Waffles, and you can see that there's a few people kind of in the back seats over here, looking over at the four of you, starting to take notice of four oh. dogs just kind of standing around here. Oh, we should. Oh, uh, I don't fit in here with you. Um, because I don't know what to do. I'm gonna start barking, mm-hmm. and then no. the one, the one, I'm gonna bark in the one, and I'm gonna go yeah. to one something. Is that is Everyone. This the answer? Everyone go in different directions. Do do what we do best. <laughs> and you don't you don't have to, but Hudson's assumption is like scatter. Yeah. <laughs> it's off down an aisle. Fantastic. Right. I'll I'll do it too. I'm gonna yep. listen to Hudson as often as possible. Yeah. Boom. He's oh. old. He's at least seven. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how old he is? All right, so you take off running. Hudson, you go down. Are you headed toward the track? Um, um Let's see. Given my big size, I think I want to actually stay up. Okay. So I'll like go if I can see an aisle that has fewer people, fewer legs to try and muscle past. Yeah. I'll I'll go down the aisle and try and like keep somewhat low. Yeah, absolutely. Not go for the center of attention. Sure, sure, sure. So you take off and you get under um, some of these aisles. You go, Siren, Lysander, Waffles. Where are you headed? Um. Waffles um, decides to do a thing. Waffles <laughs> nailed it. Uh, Waffles is gonna make uh, her way down towards the truck. And mm-hmm. I think the thing that's important about Waffles is that she grooms herself very carefully all the time. So you people don't really know she's a stray. She likes to look real good all the time. Mm-hmm. And she's gonna um, try to see if she can um, sashay her way. Uh, toward closer towards where the golden slop is. Oh, fantastic! Great. Um, what's a roll that we could make here as you're sashaying down the? Um, could be a sway if you're trying to. Uh, yeah, maybe a, a sway, trying to convince everybody that I'm. Uh, just someone's dog. Because yeah, cool. there are so other I, dogs have... in the area that belong to people, but they are, you know, on leashes with collars. But you could, you could try. Yeah. <laughs> um, do I? So I rolled. If I don't have any circles filled, then I roll two dice and then take the lowest of the two. That's true. You could mm-hmm. also push yourself and take two stress to get yourself one die. So. We're not going to go there quite yet. I don't think. Okay. Let's see That's what fine. happens. We'll see That's how she great. feels. Uh, she got a five. Oh, excellent. You swoosh and whoosh your little booty on down these stairs, and you're going by. In fact, one person sitting with, uh, there's like a, a kid sitting with uh, uh, her mom, looks over down and go, you know, the, the, the dog thing like, please touch me, please touch me, please touch me as you're passing. Oh, will you allow it? Mm-hmm. Oh, fantastic. Like, oh. And, uh, and 
uh, she pets you for a minute. Um, well, and then her mom takes notice and is like, oh, 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 don't, get out, you don't, you know, um, and pulls, pulls her away and like, shoo, shoo, and kind of, um, looks and around I do to a, see if it's someone's dog. I do a small toot and then I keep walking. Good. That's good. <laughs> Heads on down. Okay, so you're headed down. Fantastic. Yep. We'll, we'll come back to you. Lysander, where do you go? I want to hunt for someone in this crowd with food who looks friendly. Okay, great. Fantastic. You want to make a survey well, hanging or, fruit. or hunt? Hunt. You want to hunt? I want to hunt it. Yeah, right. and I want to... Um, I think I'm going to push myself because I really want some now. That is a four. Okay. Okay, good. So you go running off and you, let's say you hop up probably on like a, a bench or counter, you know, along the back here to look for it and you spot it. There's a nice kind of jolly looking fella, big old beard who's got grease just like dripping into it. And he's shouting down at the dogs, look red in the face. And he's got a big old chunk of uh, what is probably a goat's leg that he's uh, munching oh, on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. He's there. All right. Great. I'm going to go over near him and I am going. Let me see. What do, what do I, what do I got here? <laughs> I don't have any points in resolve, so I don't relate well with others, but I'm going to, since this is my intention, I'm just going to go for it. So I'm going to attempt to consort. I'm going to sit and, and look at him and Maybe, maybe my not having any points in this, I'm gonna roll two and take the higher. Maybe this is manifest in me just like not being able to really sit still very long because I'm just very like excited. Yeah. Oh my God. I rolled a six and I also rolled a one. Okay. Oh! <laughs> and I'll have to take the lower because I have no points in no. consort. Oh yeah. So he looks at you. <laughs> And he actually smiles. He's like, oh, hey. And there's like a look on his face, almost of recognition. And he's like, I and you hear, uh, you know, munched up amongst his word, uh, his words, the name Demetrius. Demetrius? And uh, he lunges quickly. To uh, kind of secure you, and and he'll he'll grab you unless you want to resist it. What? Yeah. No. Um. Okay. Yeah, I want to resist that. All right, resist that. Uh, prowess. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Okay. Three. Uh, great. So you will resist that, and you get out of his arms and scramble out, and you hear him yelling again, and now he's calling out. Demetrius! Ugh. I'm gonna run out of there. All right, fantastic. I want to put two clicks into doggies are loud. Um, Sorry. And uh, and so we're we're at three of six on doggies Ooh. are loud. Um, <laughs> and you notice as you're splitting out of here, you some you know some of the the guys, um, the black or sorry, the brown robed fellas kind of take notice and the one with the pole starts coming that direction but Lysander you're 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 zipping we'll just say you're zipped for now siren where are you at um with my prior familiarity with kind of how things just laid out I would want to either head towards like the readying pens for the uh, racers who haven't gone yet or look for it whichever one in you can see it you know where it is based on okay. yeah yeah you know how on some the locker rooms are on this side well in this one the locker rooms are on that side so that's where it is uh, you see it pretty quick yeah. but you see yeah. them leading dogs in and and setting up the next heat uh, okay um i want to try to um sneak in there okay yeah uh, let's say you can make your way kind of um you're pretty quick so i'm you could kind of get across the main parts of the crowd here and try to make your way in okay um and um can i can i assist i think that hudson maybe yeah. is getting the sense that like we're getting close to the jig being up 
Yeah. So I'm going to stand on the back row with my <laughs> my huge paws up on the seat and just <laughs> try and take as much attention as I can. And uh, is that it's one stress, right, to help? Yeah, yeah, one stress. So that'll be an aid for you on a Prowl okay. if you want. Cool, I'll take that aid in the Prowl. Big Double dog. sixes. Oh, oh my god! Left the Varric dice at home. All right. I, <laughs> I, 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 I just bought like special blades from the Dark Dice, and they're clearly working now. Oh, oh nice! Those are the ones. Yeah. 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 I thrown away the Varric dice. They're burned. Oh, Not thank God. Fair. They're burned. Good. <laughs> this is great. Wow. It's funny that's where Siren's everything better. turns around. For Siren you. is much better at infiltrating than Varric is. Yeah. <laughs> well, a couple things. <laughs> happen hudson's barking who who and in fact hudson there's a dog you recognize it's a oh it's a dog with a with a family but it looks up and goes hi it's hudson <laughs> someone you've like met on the street when he got off his leash or something yeah um, and i'm like oh 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 hey what's up oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he starts going too oh, 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 oh. and so now he's barking and then the more dogs in the thing are looking around barking oh Ooh, which means siren you just like slip right in there's like, in fact a pack of greyhounds it looks like the greyhound um heat is coming up so like they're they're running the hounds all in the same heat um and so like they're kind of organizing people are bringing theirs in and you slip right in looking like you belong to one of these uh handlers just right straight into the readying pens <laughs> um which when you get in you look around and um there are individual places, locations for uh, uh, handlers to uh, ready their dogs. Some of these humans are kind of, you know, uh, uh, given some pats. There's a bit of grooming. There's a bit of uh, sports medicine. There's a tiny bit of treats. Uh, and in fact, you get in here and you look around and nobody's feeding their dog. You're looking around. There's like maybe a few little chunklets and and stuff, um, but nobody's feeding their dog <laughs> treats in here. This is this is this is the readying. They're getting ready to race. So, uh, idea being here is that you dogs, of course, would think that these fine pampered animals would get all of the treats in the world, but but, uh, but there's some sports there's some sports uh, uh, etiquette going on at work. However, um, while you're in there. Uh, you see a man come around with a clipboard and he's talking to people, checking them off as people bring their dogs and load them into uh, their launch pens. I don't know the terminology. I've only not been to a dog race ever. So, <laughs> um, so we'll pause it there for a second and go back to Waffles, who you've made your way down to the bottom. Are you trying to sneak off of the risers and into the track or where are you heading? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm trying to head to where I, I think the the golden slop went because waffles is determined yeah uh what do you have do you have a hunt or a survey um pips anything of that nature how, how much got, you seek this out um i don't know <laughs> that's okay <laughs> um i guess um like the like the survey would be like looking around yeah, right. sur yeah survey situation. would be, yeah, looking around, kind of taking stock, seeing, mm -hmm. seeing if you can put it she's, together. I think she thinks she's good at it, but she's really has no expertise in it. Like, she's convinced herself that she's really good at this, at investigating, but, like, she has zero skills. Good. <laughs> so she is going to investigate, and what would be obviously the wrong door to what a stop is, but she thinks it's the right door. So, yeah. like, if we you, like, turned around... Dog. If you know it's that dog that you like, you have the two pen. If you go to the right, you can see it, and she's like, "It's the one on the left." I gotta go through that door. Yeah. So she's gonna she's gonna go try to go through the wrong door, thinking she's going through the right door. Okay. Let's see. Um, it reminds me so much of Kaylee on walks when she's trying to figure out if I'm gonna go in the garage door or the front door. I think <laughs> I think one? maybe you should roll a fortune roll to see sure. if one yeah. is fine. Like, is it the wrong door? Who, Actually, who that's a really oh. good door. idea. I can do that. So I'll roll a fortune roll and we'll decide what's on the other side of this door. Wow. So you <laughs> are so sure it is in this door 
um, and you nose your way into it, and um, the human who's in charge of this area has uh, walked off, and he's um, sitting down picking at his fingernails, waiting for this next race to finish before he rolls it out. You nose the Perfect. door open. Oh, oh, it smells good. There's a bucket. It's on wheels. And it's oh my god, you three, found the slot. Yep, it's two or three times taller than you, but the lid is loose. <clears throat> Oh, it is um, it was a so, it was a good fortune roll. <laughs> I said it in my mind, and it was like, "Wow, that's a, a critical in favor of the players." So here we go. Awesome. It's great. It's um, awesome. Uh, so, <laughs> what waffles? Hmm, what waffles is gonna do is uh, what kind? Of, so the the mechanism that's holding the the container. What is the container made out of? Is it like metal? Is it like um? Yeah, it's like a metal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's mostly okay. kind of like a metal bucket tin that has and like a it's wooden just like, lid on top. And it's just sitting on a dolly. Is it like tied into the dolly or anything? No, it's not actually. It's kind of just like it's not strapped. It's placed there. Yeah, he come. He carries it out back and forth. He does. He's done it a thousand times. So waffles is gonna try something a little crazy. Uh, Waffles is gonna walk up to, like, try to sneak in and sneak to um, the back and get between the dolly and the slop bucket so that when it rides out, she can ride out with it and then knock it down oh in gosh. the track. <laughs> yes. Great. So you're setting yourself up in position. We'll do a roll for that later to see how that goes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Wow, let's take it back to Lysander and Hudson. What's going on out here? I'm guessing, Lysander, you can hear Hudson barking. Woo, 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 woo. Or however you bark. Think... I'm sorry. I don't mean to oh, bark yeah, for that's, you. Oh, yeah, that's dead on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll probably, since I'm sort of on the run right now, I'll, I mean, I'll make my way cautiously to the sound of Hudson's bark. Okay, cool. Yeah, as you do that, um, you know, it's packed in here tonight. So, in fact, Hudson, you're taking a lot of uh, attention, but, you know, there's dogs at the thing. In fact, this is why the uh, men in the brown cloaks are here, right? Uh, you recognize them as the rat catchers, and they're looking for types like you to scare off and get out of here. So, um, it's not like the rat, like everyone's looking up at them. So, you're able to kind of get your uh, way back over uh, to his direction. Um, Hudson, you look and you can see Lysander coming, but you also see about, mm, let's call it 30 or 40 yards behind him, there's a man in fine clothes um, and he is shaking off a, uh, a rat catcher. And you can hear him like just <laughs> And he's gesturing down to his dog, a big silvery gray mastiff. Um, oh, and this man, who I recognize. Oh yeah, you recognize him as Silver, a dog you have encountered before, uh, who uh, serves uh, his master well and is also here with him. Um, his master shoos him off, and the rat catcher sort of bows his head, of going away. <laughs> and uh, and and backs off um, as. Um, Silver starts scanning the crowd. Well, my first reaction is, oh, I don't like it when humans fight. <laughs> and and then I will, uh, you know, Hudson's ears kind of like move forward a little bit, creating that boxy head look. And he's going to curiously slink along, keeping an eye down on Silver. Mm hmm. Um, what I know about them is that they are involved, correct, in Yes. The, the sort of um, danger that was being put toward the children that we rescued. That's right. Yeah. In a in in a time before this, you rescued some children who you now um, den with, as it were. You'd probably see it that way. I um, mean, sort of adopted under your care. Silver yeah. is interested in recovering them on behalf of his master. He does not seem to want to recover them for their safety. Okay. Simply out Could of obligation. Could I do? This is, I'm trying to think of what action would apply here. Um, yeah, it's probably like study, even though Hudson is not at all good at that. But uh, Lysander, you would see Hudson like really fixed on silver. And I would like to keep very close 
uh, track of where silver is going. All right. I've lost all thought of food at this point. Yeah, fantastic. Um, we'll keep that on you. I'll probably have you roll something here in a little bit. But Lysander, sure. you make your way trotting right up to Hudson, who is uh, in seeker mode, uh, very much looking intently. Yeah, shoulders kind of rounded, head low, ears forward. I'm kind of like light on my feet, excitedly, sort of like, um, I've been in runner mode, I guess. Did you get mode. anything? No, I tried and someone tried to grab me. Oh, that's terrible, I'm so sorry. That's okay, I gotta wait. You're fast, good job. It was terrible though, you're right, it was terrible. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay, what are you up to? <laughs> Do you see? There's silver down there. Remember that dog? The one that was looking for our den children. Yeah, I don't like that dog. No, I mean, he's beautiful. And he's he would be really fun to play with, but he's mean. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't seem like he even knows how to play. No, I wish he did. <laughs> yeah. He is, like, mostly muscle. Um, but, but, you know, with the face of that mastiff, just like big, heavy mouth and jaw, lots of drool. I could just, so him and if a I could just, are twins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I could run around him and then put my paw on the back of his neck, I'd be really happy. Mm. Should we but go he won't try? let me. Oh. Um, it's at this point today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, no, go on. I should. sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're being dogs. Dogs, you gotta, you gotta, let me you back gotta up. pull I'm on so that leash every yeah, once in a yeah, while. Got but it. sometimes <laughs> you gotta let him sniff a bit. <laughs> um, it's at this point as you're watching him, um, he is let off of his lead uh, by the man who uh, is wearing very shiny shoes um, and lets him off the lead. And Silver just takes off, not quickly, but scanning and. Uh, kind of on his own volition, looking through the crowd. He turns and heads down one of the aisleways uh, between uh, some of the um, uh, the seats, heading down. Um, can you, I wanna know how, how well you can track him. What? Great, how's Hunt? Hunt sounds great. Love to hunt, I'll aid you. Yay, that'll give me three dice. Yay, three dice. I'm oh no! Yes. <laughs> double ones. Well, oh, actually, I rolled a two, so uh, that discounts the double ones, right? Yeah, that discounts. Because it's the a one ones. and two, but yeah. failure. Oh, okay. Failure, nonetheless. Uh, that's okay, though. Uh, you know, it's probably going to be fine. Uh, either way, <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does turn down um, uh, the aisle, and and you try to get a sense of him, um, but there's just a bunch of people in the way. It's at this moment that some people are standing up, um, excited um, about this race that's coming up. Um, and you can hear that there's an announcer um, who's been speaking throughout um, over these uh, loudspeakers. And uh, once again, you hear this name, Demetrius, uh, that, that Lysander uh, would especially recognize, but you recognize it as dog's name. Um, <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the Redding Pens, uh, Siren, this man's coming around and he gets to where you're at and looks at you and looks around for a trainer and looks at his clipboard. Um, okay. Uh, would, would the, I also have not spent much time in dog racing uh, tracks. Uh, is there a button that releases the doors like for all the individual <laughs> oh, holding pens? Yeah. Yeah, okay. of course. In I fact, would like there's to... a button that drops the gate for everyone to take off and it starts the it starts the race. Siren would like to push himself to get a die and utilize, which he does not know how to do at all, <laughs> and just like launch himself at that button um, to yes. immediately open the gate. Fantastic. That's a five! Oh my gosh. Okay, fantastic. Um, so you leap at this thing um, and you hit the button and sure shooting the gate comes down boom, and then the lead goes up and all the dogs including I don't know how can I make hmm, all the dogs take off down this race 
crack, and they are all running. Every dog in this pen that hasn't even been loaded now is like looking, and they're excited by this because they and, weren't and, able to shut the gates and doors. And Saren's gonna like after them as well, just like uh, <laughs> try, it. like. Man. Yeah, yeah. absolutely fantastic. And this man with the clipboard goes rolling after you, um, and he's shouting, hey, where? and he trips over the gate because it's too skinny. And it's where dogs go. And so he's face planted into the thing, um, and all of the dogs take off, including Siren, headed down the track. Race, race, race. And that's yeah. what people are standing up, Hudson. You lose them because these people are going like, <gasps> like all these dogs come out, including... Demetrius, who, on another look, looks almost exactly like Lysander. Running, beautiful long hair, the Saluki hound. In fact, Siren, you probably catch up to him, and he's just like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> like just rolling. Lysander? Huh? Uh, uh, nothing, sorry, sorry. Uh. And it's enough that um, he gets a little bit um, confused. I need to know if you win this race, though, Siren. So, um, yes. what's, what's a role? What's a role that you can do? Um, best role for. It doesn't really feel like prowling. Does it? It, it, it doesn't. <laughs> no. What opposite of prowl? Yeah, what's 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 dogging? What's dogs running fast? I've I've rolled finesse. I, I could ima I could imagine finesse because it's like a it's like a dexterous application of your body. I'd go for finesse. I yeah. could maybe make an argument for because we're chasing after the lead hunt. Hunt? I would take that. That feels mm -hmm. better to me. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll go for hunts. Okay. Uh, more belts and hunt. Sounds like it feels better to him too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roll the fortune roll to see how the other dogs do. Three and a four. Oh man. Oh god. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm you're doing, doing it. it. And as you're getting there, like your little distraction on Demetrius was enough to get you in front before in the last like tiny leg of this, he just goes right in front of you and passes and everyone's screaming. Uh the guy on the overhead, it's not like he's been before. He's like, "Oh, oh it will um, and uh, and there seems to be some confusion, but the man inside um, the uh, well where you are, Waffles, he comes and opens the door and he grabs his dolly and he starts making his way out. Could you make a roll to see what you want to do? Oh, I'm sorry, I put another uh, tick in the clock. We're five of six with that with that siren shenanigan. So, so my goal is to it's to ride out to ride out there, okay. and then when I get out there, to knock the bowl over before they serve it, so that all the dogs <laughs> get the golden slot. Absolutely, she's um, going full ratatouille. Yeah, not <laughs> for all. Um, let's say, uh, what is best for you? You might need to prowl to make sure that you can... That's a, that's a good one for me, so I would like that one, please. Let's do that. Yep. So prowl, <laughs> trying not to be seen as your as your little doggy paws are hanging on to the back of this little dolly. Got this a is four cockamore. and a three. A four and a three. Okay. Four will do it. So, um... At this point, uh, you get out and you're not quite the pedestal and the guy looks around confused and you sense in that moment, it's time. And you get a little push with your back feet and it's just enough at your height to kind of wobble it. And he looks down at you and goes, Whoa! and does the rest of it for you. And the whole bucket goes, and it's a big bucket and there is slop just spilled out onto the track, much to the noticing of every other dog in the place, um, especially <laughs> on the track. So these dogs that are now loose out there, the trainers weren't in position to pick them up, including you, <laughs> turn around like, you know, and start heading back. However, this big old scene at this moment will finish the clock of doggies are loud. Um, and yeah, it's at, this is surprising. Yeah. Yep, yep. At, at, and at this point, um, everybody's coming back. That doesn't mean you, you know, it just means that at this moment, Hudson, you 
catch again silver, but he's gotten down to the bottom and he's getting ready to leap down onto the track as he's got eyes on. Um, he's n he's looking and he seems to have picked up waffles and siren. Oh, yeah, that makes oh, sense. Oh, and I think waffles they're in danger. Waffles was not hidden. Yes, you think they're in danger. The last time that you met with him on the street, it was not pleasant. Okay. Um, so, um, I'd like to bound down as fast as I can. Does that mean I'm also doing a, a hunt? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm I'll accept hunt. You. Yeah, Lysander as well. Okay. I'll. Uh, Waffles is eating. Yeah. Oh, please enjoy. You deserve <laughs> Waffles it. Is... For, for a moment, Hudson thinks like, good girl. And then <laughs> <laughs> starts bounding down. Yeah. I'm going to push. Is, is there any way I can aid by distracting silver by maybe really arrogantly eating the food just like very <laughs> oh. proud of myself for having run the race yeah, like looking it, just you know full of bridge thing if you see him is this an intentional um like taunting or are you just feeling pretty good about yourself in general I'm, i think i'm just feeling pretty i think i'm unaware of the danger just sure i will uh, i will take that under an advisement mm, do you want to roll something for it uh, I guess that would then be a sway or consort. It I have no dice in either, so it'll be a bad roll. <laughs> is, this, is this early uh, game blade style? Is this what it was like? Did we not have dice to roll? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Yeah, that I, is I hardly a remember. A one. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, in fact, um, you uh, sort of in a backwards way you don't realize this but you run back and you are like throwing it up you're you munching it you're sitting down for a second you find like a clump of something in there that you got between your paws and um and it's it's garish enough that silver's turned his attention on you and has leaped down now and he put his paw upon the back of your neck not unlike hudson's dream Bastard. he puts it down and he says See meeting you here. Uh -huh. I, I would. If you weren't racing. Yeah. Um. Hudson, you're on the way. Do my hunt. Yep. It's a four. Okay. Um. You're gonna make the way. It is a uh, mayhem in the dog world right now all of the dogs see you going down uh they they some of the ones who've been able to get you know who whose uh, dog owners foolishly brought them to a public place without a leash and this is a call out for anybody out there okay um <laughs> Those dogs have taken off as well, so there's a bit of kind of like maneuvering and bumping. Um, and the most yeah, difficult... I hit the bottom of the stairs, and my untrimmed uh, like fingernails are yeah. like blah, 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 doing the linoleum <laughs> scramble, yeah. and then I finally get back on yeah, course. get back on course, and now you got to leap down. Uh, you know, just a bit of a ways from probably okay. about a six foot drop that um, Waffles was able to make with a. Uh, with a little bit of a sneaky uh, staircase. But at oh, this yeah. location, the fastest way down is down. All right, I'll jump and you see like the full shock wave of impact go through my body as my front paws strike the ground and then my back paws <laughs> yeah. hit back down and then rumble my way towards Silver. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna bite the back of Silver's neck if I can get within proximity, but I don't wanna, Ooh. you know, that's or fine. Steve roll I, anyone else's actions. I think on your way here, uh, as a part of your one siren, because I just enjoy making yeah. sure that you're punished for uh, right. anything. Uh, very, uh, sorry, Jamie, but um, <laughs> but he goes and he starts into you know scary dog bite. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and he's gonna uh, try to. Um, he's not trying to like eviscerate you but he needs you to know that you're gonna come with him um so you would take probably a arm bite like right here so probably level one harm unless you choose to resist it uh, i'm gonna try to resist that Great. yeah go for it uh that would be probably um prowess or uh resolve uh probably resolve unless prowess is better for you and i'm generous uh prowess definitely. let's say prowess if you can better. get away from him nimbly okay yeah. 
Death five. Which resists. Okay, good. So you'll resist that, and he gets you a bit, but you're able to get his arm out in time. <laughs> yeah. It's at this moment Hudson comes barreling in with Lysander, you in tow. Yeah. And Waffles, this sound of dogfighting will stop anybody's yeah. attention. Yeah, so I like to imagine that when um, I heard uh, um, Siren whimper, that I looked up and I started growling, but I had like all the golden slop coming down my face because I was digging out. So it's just like full, like imagine if you've ever seen a corgi growl, it's hilarious. Mm. And the, there's just golden slop all the way around and uh, her, her uh, hackles go up and she's like, oh. she thinks she's bigger than she is. Yeah, and uh, and before Hudson, you arrive, you see Silver taking them both in. And he's like starting to lower for another attack. And, and that's when I the bite him in the neck. Do yeah. it! What is this, a wreck? Uh, <laughs> sure, because anything with prowess is going to be nothing. <laughs> no, I think it's good. You're using your weight and just straight up dog strength, right? I'll, I'll push to give myself one. Okay. I can, I can, I'm happy to aid, but oh, yeah. I probably wouldn't bite. I'd probably just be running around barking. I was going to see if I could aid by distraction. Oh, yeah. Somehow, too, because I'm, you know, like we all know, I've not played this game before, so I wasn't sure if, um, if I, if I could, like, sway Silver's attention away from Hudson by, you know, absolutely. my menacing Corgi growl. Yes, absolutely. You can set him up for that. Um, so an aid would be assembled, you take, it sounds like. Take a stress. Yeah, the pack is assembled. Yeah. So you take one stress so to aid, I, which we'll give him as well. And Lysander, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 that's... Sorry, go ahead, just walk... <laughs> Lysander, no! <laughs> <laughs> while, while Lysander's frozen in time, how, where do I write stresses at? Uh, the there's... little bones. Yeah. Just like little oh, bones. little bones? Uh, nine little empty bones. Uh, above where harm, the harm boxes are and like problematic behaviors, just filling in those bones. Oh, look, the word stress is next to it too. Like it shouldn't, <laughs> like I could read. <laughs> Boom. Well done. Taking a stress. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. You're back, Lysander. Hi, you cut me off. I imagined you, you, I know, I really cut you off. I was like, you know what, I'm that's like, a... Wow, how did he do that? <laughs> uh, but you were saying, I imagine that you got distracted on the way in by the golden slop, like... <laughs> no, but what did you, uh, what were you saying before we got so rudely interrupted by the internet? Oh, no, no, no. Um, I guess, like... Waffles can set up for a, maybe I'll have already talked about this. Waffles can can aid to set up for increased effect. Oh, yeah. And I can aid to lend a die. Is that sort of, do you that's think that's great. how that works? Uh, I want to say yes. I don't think, you, you can't get a die more than once, but I think you could do increased effect. So if each of you takes a stress for a setup and for an aid, I'll check the book later. Sorry for all you Ooh. sticklers out there, but... Uh, rule of uh, what I say right now. So that works for me. So if you yes. take a stress, then that'll set up increased effect with an extra die. Awesome. Thank you, team. Hudson says, thanks. And then, ah, bites in. Good. So I'm rolling two with increased effect. Yes. Uh, can I also sacrifice position for effect? Uh, yes, you may okay. do this. So that's going to take this from a uh, risky to desperate. All right. Desperate roll. Three dice. Here we go. Yeah. Good. Do it. Let's do it. Double sixes. It's a five. Oh, okay. good. Excellent. So you get a good fight onto his neck. And in fact, he makes a yelp. And... Uh, turns and sort of tries to get away from you but your bite is pretty sturdy onto him um that he uh is kind of starts to shake and at any possible convenience get away uh from you i'm doing the like w head waggle back and forth yeah. with this dog's neck yeah and he's I big. really I mean, don't he's, like him yeah he's as big as you and so you're getting you're really getting at him um until he 
um, gets, uh, gets finally, like, pulls away in a way that actually leaves some, like, blood. You've definitely torn, uh, the neck, um, and he comes back, um, at you, um, immediately with a, with a bite on the ear, like, almost pierces it. So shreds a little piece of, piece of the ear, just, and then, yeah. Yeah, and he's looking at uh, all of you, especially you, Hudson, as Lysander's running around him in circles, barking, "Good boy, good boy." <laughs> and I'll try to get my my uh, legs around, if if you're okay with it, Waffles. Get my legs like around you, so that you're like under me and protected. Still growling. <laughs> Even oh, more like, so, right? It's like golden slop dropping down <laughs> um, i did not clean that up it's a snack for later yeah, uh, yeah it is it's at this point that the dogs all around you are all like starting to like <laughs> like barking yeah. and eating and running around um and you can see um there is the, the few men who were here in the brown cloaks the rat catchers are now like alighting over the front railing to come down and shunk, an extendable rods pulling out with little loops on the end looking to uh gather up uh who they can at this point in fact one of them you see in the middle he particularly he steps over and kind of stands there um uh, looking quite pleased with the situation he sees before himself. As he opens his coat and you see a small little box from inside of it that he pulls out and sort of uh, wonders at in his hands as he looks out and kind of gestures to his lieutenants. He's definitely in charge and they're all coming for you. What um, do we they're just there's a bunch of dogs. Something's messy down here. <laughs> let's go. Let's time to go. Time to go. At first, I'm I was barking this. and yelling. They're fighting. <laughs> They're fighting. They're fighting. They're fighting. And now I'm. This might be my fault, guys. Time to go. I'm gonna take another couple mouthfuls. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Time for the road. Good. All right. Fantastic. So you all gonna take off? Um, We'll probably need some rolls to see how fast we can go or by what means you try to um, escape. We're going to fill a clock, a four-part clock of get the hell out of there. Um, so we're in the center of all of this kind of um, like in structure. Of yeah, the, the structure is all up to the side, pretty much. The track itself is just kind of an open track. So there's an openness. There is a gate and or like gated fences on the on the open side out there, um, which is you can you know as you scouted the joint, I'm sure you would know buzz. Yes, yeah. it's 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 buzzing. So Ooh. yeah. So on that side, and then the rest of the structure and the pens are on kind of the same kind of L shape around the side of this. Can I try to command uh, to, to get the group moving, you know, as much as we can? Yeah, well, you mean you want to command everybody, all, all the yeah. other dogs to help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I just want to like, my concern is to make sure these dogs get out safe and I'll be at the back kind of urging them forward. Sure, if, yeah rather than trying to make a roll to like scramble out quickly myself. Absolutely. Boom. That is a um, six. Nice. Six, good. Okay, that's gonna put two ticks in to get the hell out of there. Uh, there's another clock nice. running right now called Off to the Cannery. Let's not fill that clock. But, um, <laughs> just, Enough just, said. just putting that out there. So you're barking, and in fact, Hudson, with your six, uh, your increased effect here on this, um, you know, you're barking, and there's actually other dogs who are racing who are now here as well, going like, we're running, we're running, we're running, like, excited. So now you're in a bit of a pack um, of more than just the four of you. Um, the Waffles is the one you'll need to look out for. The rest of these dogs are runners. I don't know what you're saying, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Waffles Wait. is like. So Siren is doing finish. laps around like the slower <laughs> dogs, just like, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I get it. You're all fast with me. Lead the way. <laughs> Great. Um, so I, I know a I know a special trick. My special dog trick is Arrow Swift. 
So when I push myself, I can um, choose an additional benefit, one of which is maneuver to confuse your enemies so they mistakenly attack each other. Oh, <gasps> yep. So, um, I don't, I, I don't know. I, are we running in the direction of the rat catchers, and we're hoping to just overwhelm them? I think or... it's the kind of thing where, well, in Hudson, you can tell me. There's three of them, kind of one on each side, and then the main dude in the middle who hasn't advanced as much. He's holding the middle position, holding this box somewhat menacingly. So I'm guessing you've taken off to one direction to try to get past the one, um, but the other one is like. <laughs> and he's like running behind sounds good yeah okay cool well can can i just try to get them to attack each other or should we just run out of here i think it's a great yeah. idea i can just attack each other yeah let's do it i don't break yeah. that box whatever that box is i don't trust it <laughs> hi okay five fantastic so you um you you get up to the one in front of you and and uh, you you give him a bit of a like two pop like pounce as if to like come get me sucker um, and kind of lead him around as the other catches up. He's got his little pole out with the thing and he's trying to loop your neck. You're you're wiggling and dodging as you run straight at the other one um, and you go right between his legs, um, kind of like the little Saluki dive underneath. And of course, this guy's pole goes straight into the other guy's nuts. It just has to be that way. And the other guy's Boing. like, oh, you know, yeah, it's like that. Exactly. Yeah, that kind of thing. Um, um, but uh, as you get past, um, uh, these two guys get hit, and you see the the kind of main dude smile, a kind of yellowish, toothy grin, and he starts approaching, and that's going to put one tick into off to the cannery. But that's gonna put another tick, three out of four, into get the hell out of there as you take off. Great. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to uh, leap, and he's got the thing in his hand. I'm gonna try to bite the hands um, oh. that's got uh, the box. Okay, great. I can, while he's advancing toward uh, Xander. Okay. Uh, oh, this. Oh, sorry, Waffies. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, uh, would this be a scrap? Did I say? Yeah. All right. I will uh, push myself. Unless you have a devil's bargain for me. Um. <laughs> yes. Um. The devil's bargain uh, would be that no matter if you get the box or not out of his hand, um, this guy is going to remember you um, and make a special place in the pound for you. Yeah, that's, that's worth the risk. That's worth the risk. Okay. We don't, I don't want him to catch me anyway. Well, yeah, just don't get yeah. caught. It's like yeah. my yeah. literal like uh, philosophy around taking defense upgrades in video games. It's like, well, if I just don't get hit. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah, uh, my, my reasoning is still the same. Don't get caught. So. Yeah, exactly. All right. That was good because that got me a six. Oh, so good. First of all, some key with the devil's barking. I can't believe I didn't think about that. Thank uh. you. So with your devil's barking, mm -hmm. uh, you sure give this devil uh, a barking, as it were, and uh, you give him a full chomp on the hand, and he goes, oh, and he's like dropped the box onto the ground, um, and you can hear it like, with a heavy metallic thud, and you hear almost something inside go, um, like a little bit of a uh, like an exhalation, um, but it doesn't make any other sound other than it hits the ground and you bit his hand and he's like, oh, oh, and there's a really good bloody mark on it. And uh, as you run away and fill this uh, clock, you can see him watching you run away specifically as he's kind of starting to bind up his hand a little bit. Um, so all of you run by um, on the way out. Um, 
the, some of your new friends who are like, wow, 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 thank you. This is great. That was good slop. Oh, man. Uh, and you realize that you're running alongside a version of yourself, Lysander, and he's looking at you, too. Huh. I know you. <laughs> You're my brother! Yes, that's it! <laughs> ah. Ah, and they stop. You know, he stops right there and he's doing... <laughs> <laughs> like running around in a second. <gasps> wow, are you racing? No, I was stealing. What? Stealing? Why are you stealing? Yeah. Don't they feed you? No, I escaped. Escaped? Yeah. Yeah, I got... When we got separated, we I got... The person who bought me was taking me out to the Deathlands like every t every time, oh, and it was terrible. Yeah, you got lucky. You get to run all the time. Yeah, it's great. You should run. I run every day. And he's like, it's no, wonderful. no, you should run. <laughs> and he looks back, and these guys are coming. Like, <laughs> I'll do and, so. And he kind of runs after you a bit, and kind of stops at the gate as you guys kind of like bowl through it. Um, and on your way out, you're surprised to find a couple other strays you recognize that were definitely in there, kind of laying low and got to, <laughs> got a little bit of goodness out of this who run out with you. Um, and you also see on the fence of the gate, a little silhouette of a black cat just watching a twitch and a flish. No time to talk, but she jumps mm -hmm. down as you look back and uh, potentially disappears. What a score. Yay. Uh, what a score. Okay. Uh, I think I officially got two licks in my stash. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I think um, for this particular payout, you got a bit of stash. Um, I'd say because we weren't able to make it out with anything, the eating of the golden slop itself is worth of at least one. Stash each. So if well, and if took it's a stuck bite, in our doggy stash, maybe that's what stash actually means. Is that you can have a little lick of it later because it's, it's in like your dry. stash. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I would say that this was probably loud and chaotic. Um, Dirt. Yeah. Involved yeah. violence with other animals and and humans. So mm -hmm. I'd say we'd go probably three. I'm leaning four uh, heat for this because it was such a four big heat. deal. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, with the rat catcher there and silver, <laughs> you can talk me down, but I'm no sucker like Ted. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, it seems like really like we ran into the two organizations that want us in trouble, and ours was the crew that orchestrated the the great slop feast. Yeah. So Slop Fest 2022. Yes, That's slop. right. <laughs> we'll remember this day for a long time, everyone. That's right. <laughs> what happened? You guys, I haven't eaten all day. I'm so hungry. Me too. It's been years since I ate. <laughs> that makes me really. Two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's some scrap. Um, okay. Anyway, well, I'm arguing for four. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think four is good. I think yeah, four, yeah. Right. four makes sense. I don't know what we're talking about, so four sounds good. <laughs> it's, uh, I love that. how much trouble we're in. Yeah, four yeah. is mean. Oh. Yeah, there's some trouble of brewing. Um, but that sounds like a good four. Yes. <laughs> you make it back to your den um, to where you live in the sewers deep within. Um, Kind of the sewers of Silkshore there. Um, you've moved around a few times in the last few weeks just to kind of keep uh, keep anybody looking a bit uh, confused. Um, and you return back home to find three uh, small humans who greet you warmly. Uh, a young uh, man, or young man, young man. He's a uh, <laughs> 10 years old. <laughs> a child. <laughs> He's 10 years old, who's favoring his uh, uh, one of his arms. Um, his wrist, though, you'd all recognize, seems to be somewhat improving, but um, it has been um, injured, and, and he's still kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, babying it a bit. Um, and two other girls, uh, a little older, maybe 12 or 13, who greet you um, warmly as you come home. Um, 
They've been keeping the fire alight, and despite the stinky stink inside of this sewer, uh, it's a rather cozy place to spend some time with your little pack. Um, at this point, a black cat drops down from the roof. <laughs> and you recognize her as your cat friend, Cassandra. Who Hello, says, Cassandra. I'm very happy to be here. Oh, hello. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Waffles. You boys really made a mess out there, I would say. And Waffles is the only one who had a really good idea to begin with. I always have the best ideas. Waffles, how'd you find it so quick? I was. I use. I use my intuition. Oh, I don't have any of that. Yeah, I, I found some on the street earlier today, so I used that to help me find it. My intuition. Girl. <laughs> Uh, Cassandra sort of just watches for a minute, um, you know, just kind of still other than just the twitch of her tail before she says, well, I have bad news. You lot are in trouble. Old maid wants to see you. And, uh, we'll just give it a little break here for us to use the bathroom, and we'll hear about what she has to say about Old Maid after, oh. um, this particular, uh, So, ooh, what a cool score. Ooh. All right, we'll take Thanks it for a break. Everyone. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Go use the restroom, get a snack, and we'll come back for, uh, the second half. It's everyone. Oh. oh, I can't find the right <laughs> button to push. Give me one second. <laughs> Hello, just one oh. second. I'll be there in just a moment. Here it is. Let's we'll keep howling. <laughs>
and we are back. Hello, and thanks for joining us for the first half of The Contra Bark. And now we will embark <laughs> on the second half. I'm sorry. I should not be allowed on, <laughs> on this stream. I'm very keep sorry. Keep them coming. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, we left off and Cassandra has jumped down um, and has told you all, you're in trouble. Old Maid wants to see you. Now, you know Old Maid. Uh, maybe not more by reputation. Old Maid is a... Um, she's, she's been putting together a pack. Um in this area in Silkshore um, with sort of kind of one idea in mind, which is what's good for the pack, you know, it's good for all. Um, and and so a lot of dogs have been finding their way into this pack under Old Maid's leadership. Um, you know, she, she isn't particularly necessarily like uh, uh, territorial as of yet, uh, being somewhat new, but she's definitely been crossing around within uh, the dogs on the streets, hearing about Old Maid, lots of people have been joining up, or dogs have been joining up. Um, either way, um, being in trouble with Old Maid, though, isn't something you necessarily uh, want to be. Unwanted attention, obviously, for your crew isn't, isn't great. And so she says... She seems to think that uh, you're all responsible for something bad that has happened. Like at the dog park or like somewhere else? We've never done anything bad. No, you're all I did good. once. One you time. No, I, I did something. I went through a fence I wasn't supposed to. And they were really disappointed in me. Oh. That's a hard life there, Hudson. Cassandra looks at you like literally just like <laughs> why would anybody care I'm I'm big <laughs> okay anyway is it about the the golden slop or something else well, it's not about the golden slop that was practically heroic some of the other strays there are singing your song as it were out into mm. the night <gasps> Oh, my theme song? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Love that one. Yes. It's, uh, the classic. Not my favorite, personally, but I understand it is catchy amongst you all. No, she <laughs> seems to be uh, upset. Some of her pack have gone missing, and she seems to think that you, well, maybe not directly, but indirectly are the cause of it. Group of rat catchers has come through sweeping Silkshore, picking up strays, many of which were her, including. Well, I'll just let her tell you. You should go see her soon. And she jumps up to the pipe and then uh, looks back down at you, Hudson, and sees your ear bleeding and goes, Oh. Are you okay? Mm hmm? What? Your ear. I, I try to see my ear and just do like a full 360 <laughs> no. a couple times. <laughs> well, you should take care of yourselves. And she hops up some I'll, more pipes. I'll walk over to Hudson and I'll put a paw on him and I'll say, Your ear is bleeding. And oh, I'll no. Licking it. Yeah. Oh, you guys healing each other. You're sweet. Does that constitute a recovery action? Uh, sure. I don't know how recovery it's level, action works in this, is it, but I is am it level one harm? in like living <laughs> yeah. and bestowing comfort. Yeah, I don't think I said anything about it, but it'd be level one harm that, sure. um, you know, a bloody ear. Um, but yeah, I could. You know, we could take a a non proficient role in that to see if it. Uh, Heals. <laughs> the the what, healing, uh, healing clock would be what a four. Yeah. What am I rolling for that? Um. Like <laughs> consort. I guess not. <laughs> it's like I'm spiritual yeah, I, healing. I get confused because uh, all of this healing. So I'm like, can't you all just do it yourselves? Um, <laughs> but I'm realizing that you, you, you have to see somebody normally for that kind of. 
I think we is like there, ro it, roll dice equal to the level, like you know the so whole the, 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 we're having with stash, like yeah. the quality level that we have. Quality level of the healing. Um, mm. I would have to look this rule up again, but I would accept. Maybe you should just go see someone. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you could go to the doctor. <laughs> doctor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I'm trying to wrap it's my head around what a dog time. would do i mean you like if if my dog Nothing. is any yeah is any judgment are you just like lick it yep i think that's probably i think that's probably good we can see here's what i will do um i'd say roll a uh we'll call it a resolve roll okay okay we'll see i mean i'm gonna look up some more dog rules for healing but it's a six okay great so that is three, three. ticks in your healing clock cool, cool. Great. so uh after you and lysander get a good licking in uh it feels like it's pretty clean although one of the kids comes over and notices as well and is like oh cool yeah huh? and gets a little bit of moisture from the sewers uh the cleanest parts of it to like Kind of give it a, a, a wash and scratches behind your ears and oh, gives a and hug. I'm, I'm like looking up at him with my little brown eyebrows yeah. raised <laughs> exactly. and like leaning into him. Mm -hmm. And he's putting his face like a nose straight onto your nose. You know when you put the dog's oh. little snout oh right here? Mm -hmm. And then just gives a big <laughs> hug. <laughs> That's how children uh, humans talk. Yeah. <laughs> even even how humans hear them. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've all uh, talked to children before yeah. Garson. This child know. is ten though, just <laughs> he's not. <laughs> uh, ten year olds. Uh, yeah. See, see, seeing this siren is going to try to indulge his vice and like nuzzle up to the girl. Um, because we've got three children. There's right? three children, yeah. There's two girls. Just so like uh the younger girl and just like um, tail wagging, like do that thing where he tries to, to like squirm onto her lap, uh, yeah. try to get some uh, human affection. Absolutely, <laughs> she's doing the best she can considering how big and bony you are. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have a friend who has a greyhound, and I was like, "Oh, you're very sweet." And ouch, ouch, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like holding an appliance. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> But you you manage and and she settles for your head in her lap, All right, uh, and so eventually that's kind of where you end up. Um, um, I would like to say that uh, you guys cut to you guys you guys are getting your your cuddles and there's a cut scene and Waffles is just chewing on the wall like just like oh. straight onto the wall oh, like yeah. oh Waffles, <laughs> it's like oh. mouth on wall just trying to eat whatever. Oh, just absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and so, because that's 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 how she loses her stress is that she just chews on stuff. So you guys are like getting all close. You just like cut scene of a cord, you chewing on a wall. Just like <laughs> grinding teeth on this wall. Sometimes finds yeah. a piece of like an old wooden like uh, gate that used to shut in there. Some rope that had gotten trapped. So in happy this. about it. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> yep. Just chewing a wall. <laughs> While these guys are getting their cuddles on. So Simon, you're cuddled up. Was that a? Is that human affection? It is human affection, and uh, oh no, it's roll because uh, it's your lowest one, right? It's zero, it's, so yeah, yeah. So I clear one stress. Oh, good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I, I thought I overindulged, and I was wondering how exactly that would work with human overindulging in human affection. But uh... <laughs> a dog overindulges. What happens? <laughs> so you only clear one stress if your lowest is at zero. Uh, well, I rolled two dice and I got a six and a one, so I took the I took the lower. Okay. Uh, so should I roll my dice then, since my vice is chewing? Mm -hmm. Not my vice. Yeah, my problematic behavior is chewing, and then I also have. Mm -hmm. So she just chews on whatever she sees. Oh. Uh, and so, how what how do I I just? So you roll a dice equal to the. Um... There's your three attributes. Uh, am I saying this right? I can't remember how it all starts yeah, off. Insight, yeah. prowess, mm -hmm. and resolve. Right. And, so and of those, you look at how many skills are at 
at least one pip. Um, and then you roll that many. So, like, if you have, uh, say, mine is prowess and there's nothing, then you roll yeah. two and keep the lowest. Yeah, that's probably. So I have, I have. I have a prowess and there's two of them with dots. Okay, and then insight. Any dots in insight? Nope, and yeah. no dots in resolve. Yeah, so roll okay. two. Okay, keep the so lowest. yeah. Okay. Uh, five and a three, so a three. Cool. Okay. Cool. Excellent. What? Well, like, I would say as well, we, like, we have the shot of Waffles um, chewing the wall and then cut to Siren being like, Waffles found that so quick. Waffles is really the smartest of us, I think. <laughs> he just <laughs> got something up here. I'd have never thought to look for it there. And, like, that's, like, voiceover now on Waffles. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> one point waffles you probably like keep chewing down to like a little lap up of the sewage <laughs> keep group like beautiful 100%. Ooh, 100%. Hudson, Hudson did not like that <laughs> no Hudson is busy trying to lick the remaining golden slop out of his chest fur <laughs> um, I don't know if that'll count as my treat vice <laughs> oh sure yeah let's say so yeah, I mean, that's otherwise right. he'd be like taking a whole, you know, detour yeah. to look yeah. around for something. Yeah. But he'll oh. just. You work on this for a while because it's like it's the it's the feeling of having your little kibble like lost in the carpet, and so you're searching through it. True story. My Bernie's Mountain Dogs eat out of a maze dish that forces them to eat slowly because they can't just like <laughs> scoop it up. <laughs> Mother, how do? Yeah. Okay, so let me roll. Uh, I'm rolling two and keeping the lowest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one. All right, I'll recover one stress. Good job. Uh, excellent. So we've had some stress rolls. I want to run. I mean, while we're relieving Vice, I mean, I want to. If if we're done for the night, at the at the end of the night, I'm, I'm I want to go up onto the street and just like run, yeah. like beautiful and wild through the streets of Silkshore over the bridges. Across the canals, down the streets, down the really big streets, because no one's on the big streets right now. So it's fun to run down the very middle of the big streets. They're well lit and just like run and breathe in the wonderful winter air. The air has just been so cold and wonderful lately. I just want to run and run in it. Okay, I love this. Um, I'm going to introduce just a small little thing here as you're running through the streets. Um, and it is glorious. It's cold, but like, you know, whatever. It's beautiful. Um, but as you're running through, um, at one point, there's a little, uh, a, a few little kids. Um, as you're passing through some of the kind of poorer spots in Char Hollow on your way back, I mean, you've really gone on a loop, man. You're really running for it. Um, and they uh, have seen you pass, and they take an interest in you run, and they start kind of running alongside you, and they um, start pulling from their pockets like little bits of bread, and they kind of stop for a second and crouch down. They look to be about 12, 13, um, you know, poorly dressed. It's the middle of the night, but they're kind of sitting here looking at you and they are holding out these little pieces of bread as if to um, entice you to come and taste it. I think I'll go taste it. Okay. These people are nice and they're giving me food. Great. So uh, you come over and um, holding it out to you. How do you grab it from them? Very gently. Okay. Oh, With very sweet. Mouth. That's good. Yeah, and then another one pulls out another piece and holds it out again, not quite as far away from them. I'll do it very gently again. <laughs> oh. And slowly. Yeah. And one starts to pet your head. Do you let him? <laughs> okay, he pulls out another yeah. piece. <laughs> I, uh, he I'll, starts to I'll, pet. I'll have it. Sure, I'll let him pet me. Sure. Okay. And it's at this moment that he tries to grab you around your neck uh. and hold you. And uh, the other kid that is with him tries to grab you around your stomach. 
No. <laughs> do I right. do and I relieve stress before I can yeah, resist this? Yeah, this is me layering on an entanglement at the same time as your stress, a la our style of blades, which is, well, can we do three things at once right now? Yeah, love it, <laughs> love it, love it. Yeah, right, really, I rolled a four. Okay, thank goodness. Yeah, and in, and in this case, um, they're grabbing you and shouting to some more kids back in the alley. Um, who one of them's coming out with a rope. No, I'm out of here. Can I resist this? Is this, yeah, a, you is can, this allowed? Yeah, I'd say, yeah, resist this. That's what I would say, to bust out of here and get the freak out. Great, I rolled a five, so Fantastic. I will take one stress. One stress. So I and, four and we'll take one. Ooh, nice, okay. And uh, that's enough to get you free of them, and they're not going to be fast enough to keep up if you take off. I'm out of here. Great. You peace out, um, and you can, if you look one more time back behind, you can see them chase for a little bit before they just kind of, <sighs> and they turn around and kick the ground and move on back. Oh At my humans. gosh. Yeah. I was about to get eaten by human children. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a, it's a dark world out there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But you make it back home, and your pack is here, snuggling up warm. Waffles welcomes you with a grind of her teeth, probably. <laughs> um, yeah, hey. so that works. Hey. Great. Lysander. Yeah. That, that other dog looked a lot like you. Oh, oh, that was my brother, Demetrius. We were puppies together, but then I got adopted, and then I never saw him again until, until tonight. That's crazy. Yeah. He's so doing good. Have... Yeah, he beat me. <laughs> yeah. So you, you could have been racing your whole life? Well, I guess not. Because I got adopted by that by that Loman dude. Yeah, but if you if you hadn't gotten adopted by that 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 guy, you could have been racing. Well, I don't know. Maybe could have, but I mean, what is it? I mean, that was what Demetrius did. Yeah, but, but like, maybe you'd be good at racing. Maybe. I should like to run. Yeah. It's just some, huh? something to think about. Something to think about. Yeah. I could have been a racer. Yeah. Hmm. One of the I kids. think I could have too. If you would have been born with longer legs. Yeah, if I definitely was like, just like a little different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. L longer legs. Like, like taller and like a different kind of dog. Maybe, maybe I could just, could longer, definitely win. Longer body, yeah. Have you ever yeah. gone well, uh, hunting and chased down vermin? Uh, I've not really left the city. Or like a so, rat? You ever chased a oh, rat? Oh, you mean or a like squirrel? yeah, like my going to the yeah, squirrels. I hate them. I That's like a though. race, and if you catch it, you win. Well, I can do that. Never mind. I don't need to tend the body for You're that. You're a champion. That's what I'm You're trying to say, Waffles. I'm just saying. You guys are my family. I love you. We love you too. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> and she goes back to chewing the wall, but quietly, like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, it's at this point that one of the older girls does the old, like, sneak up on the dog before they realize what's happening and, like, snatch it, <laughs> grabs you waffles, you know, with the, like, come here, and grabs oh. you and hugs you. You know, it's like a my dog wants to be cuddled, but is like, don't touch me until you have her. So, Important corgi <laughs> question. Does she grab the corgi in one spot or two spots? Oh, one. They're not. They're okay, so um, so Waffles goes forward a little bit and is trying to like autocorrect because uh, corgis need weight distribution when you pick them up. Mm. Oh my <laughs> pick god! Pick up one spot, they will go the other way because <laughs> they're so long. <laughs> and she's like fumbling so, Waffles. Let me. And Waffles is like, a, oh, a quick fortune roll here to see. Uh... Oh no, it's good <laughs> enough. This is the important content. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Waffles Why is like, oh no, oh no, it? and he like rolls back and he's like, okay, I got this. Yeah, oh. got, got it here, and uh, mm. kind of carries you back and snuggles in for some uh, for 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 presumably uh, nighttime sleep time. I chew on her hair. 
Oh gosh, she kind of thinks it's cute, but in a couple of days she might not. <laughs> <laughs> um, fantastic. Uh, anything else in here? Uh, if we're doing other downtime action, do we know of any? So there's the old maid's uh, pack. Do we mm-hmm. know any other? stray packs and any that we might not have good relations with outside of like skill for um yeah you would um you might um like there's none since you, you guys are sort of a, a smaller pack you know operating here basically what seems to be to me at least kind of just a survival kind of instinct Check some kids, get what you can. Um, and so you haven't made like a ton of enemies. Um, however, in some of your scores, you've definitely deprived uh, others of uh, getting some of their own uh, treasures, as it were. Um, uh, I have some names here, if you want to know any of their names. Give me a sec. You know how this goes. It, yeah. Shall I? Uh... I'll talk through my intention while okay. you're finding their names. Uh, Siren's feeling a little bit guilty for uh, biting the uh, rat catcher's hand and perhaps introducing some ire towards the group. So in an effort to reduce heat as a downtime action, after a fair bit of digestion, he'd like to find like the lair or near where one of these other packs hangs out and just sort of vomit up some of the uh, yellow slop as evidence uh, that they were responsible uh, for. <laughs> well, or at least, you know, to uh, blur the lines. <laughs> was this fucking genius. <laughs> yes. Blur um, the lines. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, there is... <laughs> This is uh, this is fantastic. There's a there's kind of a smaller group. This would probably be your best bet for this. Um, um, if you don't want to piss off old maids group, um, you could probably find um, uh, it's a group called the Black Coats, and they're kind of um, uh, they operate kind of on the border of Char Hollow. They do move into other uh, uh, situations. They call themselves such because of the kind of sooty ash that gets into their um, fur a lot. They aren't necessarily all black dogs, um, but they, you know, become so uh, through, um, you know, basically just getting ashy and sooty. Um, but that would be a good place to go leave a, a pile of vomit somewhere. Yeah. Put that on the t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a good place to leave a pile of vomit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well done. Brahms uh, taking notes. <laughs> in another, <laughs> in like another world. From there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, so you hork it up, and uh, I'd say that, that would reduce our heat. Do we make a roll? I can't remember how to reduce heat. I think I, I just think, decide. Yeah, you roll a... No, 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 you roll an attribute, right? Oh yeah, and you see I'm, while you do. I, I'm, yeah, I'm lying. I, I would assume that's sway because I'm lying about the yeah. vomit. I, I don't know. I, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I don't you, know. It's, you can say that. Isn't it pretty straightforward? Because you're just like you're just leaving it for them to that. put it together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd say, what can you sell me on, uh, Jamie, uh, Master of Lies? Yeah. I. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Oh, no, I needed my attributes. I needed my attributes. I, I, I was like, I, I only have three dots? What? Oh, it's the uh, extra I had more. attributes. Um, I'm going to try and go this way just because uh, uh, Siren is a little better than Derek. Look, this robot version of Siren trying to. I know. No. Ooh, ah, 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 oh, no. Oh, <laughs> it sounds like the it's human. It's just a human. Speaking, human yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is one. Okay. Oh. I mean, good job. We'll reduce the heat by 
one. I tried. Not not very much comes up, maybe. Just like, I, I waited a little too long after eating the well, scrap. Yeah, well, not much comes up, and actually, uh, another dog comes by and licks <laughs> some of it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you. That's yeah. for you. Enjoy that. Okay. I'm saying this in the best way, but that's how what happened a few days ago in this house. <laughs> All right. Well, well done. Reduce heat. Let me see here. Anything other downtimey actions? Can I uh, indulge my vice twice? think you can because i there... took i took like five stress you did that. is there uh cool. yeah we can totally do that how, how do you want to go about finding a treat at this oh yeah <gasps> i mean it's late the night is young though so mm -hmm. hudson will kind of lumber out mm -hmm. look around the street put his nose up do the full like head swing See if I can sniff anything uh, like being thrown out or a trash can or something. Yeah. I mean, his standards are not high. Just make a fortune roll to see what, what kind of luck you have. Okay, so there is um, actually uh, down by the canal, um, there's this um, uh, building out there. People coming and going. There's a little bit of a bar situation going on. Um, it's not very fancy food, but they've started to dump out the stuff that's going up uh, starting to turn a little bit, but starting to turn good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. Real gamey. Um, and it's mostly just like fat with some of the trimmings uh, off of some of the meats and things that have come out. Say no more. Yeah. And so um, you can help yourself straight from the trash or if you'd like to take it somewhere, that's up to you. Oh, uh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Guy comes out with Slurp the trash can, like, and then takes one more and, like, flings it behind you, like, ugh. Do my best to catch it. It lands on my nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of shake it off and then... And he's, like, kind of looks at you, like, ugh. And Ooh. Then, like, I get to reduce four stress. There you go. Now you're much more successful good. than licking the drips off of my chest. I love when it's, uh, you know, when the narrative is mechanically expressed so beautifully. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Excellent. So, uh, do we need to go talk to Old Maid? I guess we'll go in the morning. Yeah. I got normal dog times. I gotta take my, my ninth nap by the day. I'm very tired. Yeah, we'll, we'll go late, like 5 a.m. or something. Yeah, yeah, my 5 a.m. is a good wake-up time. <laughs> Classic time to wake up anyone around you and make so that they are also awake. Yeah, of course. It's nice when no one bothers you to get out of bed. You can sleep until 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> Like, and then you just like go outside and you like move from it and you go lay back down, but like you woke everybody else up too. That's super mm. nice. Oh man. That's the life. Well, nice. <laughs> well, uh, w without much ado, 5 a.m. does arrive. <laughs> and sure enough, the kids are dead asleep. Um, and you guys start waking up for your day and you can make your way to Old Maid's Den. Um, this is a on the west side of Silk Shore. It's a ruined tenement building um, kind of near some of the canneries um, out here on the on the west side. And um, um, you uh, are greeted uh, at the entry by kind of a snarly looking fella who honestly, when he kind of snarls, there's only one good tooth left. Um, and uh, he just kind of recognizes who you are and uh, lets you into the court of Old Maid. Um, and in Old Maid's court, you walk in and immediately, this is your first time here, uh, hearing, you know, the rumors about what Old Maid is trying to do, you know, unify the packs here in Silkshore. Um, it's pretty busy. It's maybe one of the bigger packs that you've seen. Um, and especially at 5 a.m., people are just waking up. And by people, I mean dogs. Um, 
and they're around. You can see, uh, you know, dogs over fighting over a bone. Um, you can see a bit of a pile of scraps that seems to be like being rationed out somehow. Um, she's she's got some sort of system it would seem in place with a couple of dogs who are kind of, you know, head down, kneel, uh, laying next to it, like maybe they're the ones guarding it. Um, and up, kind of. Uh, there's like a crumbled second floor um, that kind of creates a bit of a landing in between the first and second floor. And up on the top of this like faux landing created by the crumbling sits an old English bulldog, like, or American bulldog, like big, hunky, chunkus, uh, beautiful, sitting up there. And she's got a dingy, though vibrant, pink velvet collar with a little bell on it that jingles every time she uh, adjusts herself. Um, and sitting kind of next to her, um, she's, a, she's a good chunky size, but sitting next to her is this tiny looking little pug um, who immediately stands up when you comes and goes, yeah. <laughs> And he's uh, huffing and puffing. Um, and you can hear uh, uh, old maid kind of lean over and whisper into this little dog's ear, like, I guess. And this pug comes running down right up to meet you. Who's in front? Hudson is. Okay. Comes right up. Hudson, this <laughs> thing is the size of your paw. I mean, it is <laughs> tiny. And it looks up at you and goes, See ya. We weren't expecting you so uh, soon, but she does appreciate being timely. And another dog goes, Whoop! and comes walking out, big pit bull, um, and says, Pitfall, get out of the way. Um, and uh, the little pug looks over at the pit bull and goes, It's not pit bull, it's joint. And, uh, and uh, this dog comes over and uh, introduces itself with a couple of sniffs around your uh, uh, genitalia and bottoms, um, as you do, and says, <laughs> My name's Snap. I'm uh, Old Maid's right hand. And Old Maid just kind of looks down from atop of her throne um, at all of you. Thank you for coming. She'll be Hello, pleased. Snap. I understand that... Uh... You've got something to tell us, something about some trouble that we're in. We heard a whisper from a cat. She's uh, useful, that one, isn't she? Yeah, very useful indeed. <laughs> and he's, you know, seems to really want to be, he's like at the end of every one of his sentences with a little like finishing, uh, uh, <laughs> finishing each sentence. I'll, uh, I'll let her be the one to tell you. Um, you uh he he turns around and leads you up closer to uh, uh to her mound of uh rubble um and he uh jumps up a couple of spots before turning around about three times and sitting um and uh piffle slash joint uh kind of just keeps going in between your legs uh and kind of checking things out sniffing around uh before uh, you hear the voice of old maid Thank you for coming. Appreciate you coming so quick in the morning. And uh, we're uh, we're good dogs, old maid. Yes, I have heard. Good dogs doing good things. A bit of your exploits last night, and uh, gestures over to a kind of dirty-looking reddish golden retriever. Red dog says you uh, put up quite the show. I'll look over at Siren. Yeah, almost one, too. Almost. Tail droops oh. a little. <laughs> <laughs> I would say we were pretty successful. Well, so uh, seem to have fed yourselves quite a bit. Not easy Not out us, here. everyone. I'm sure you're all aware of what I'm trying to do here. And she, uh, at this point, kind of gets up off of her side haunch and starts to look down at how she's going to get down from this mound, thinks better of it, and sits down again. <laughs> 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 a 
but I'm bringing the packs together. Sure, you've heard that. Many dogs have come under my care. And now I'm afraid to say that many dogs have fallen into troubled situations under my care. And I can't help but think that you had something to do with it. When you say troubled situations, what do you mean? Are you talking about getting reprimanded? Biffle says, no. Reprimanded, of course. No. We're talking about the slammer, the clink, the cannery. We're talking about the rat catchers. And uh, she interrupts him and says, oh, that's, that's, that's enough, people. This what? joint, miss. <laughs> We don't, we don't, we don't roll with any rat catchers. We try to avoid them if possible. <laughs> this isn't that. This hasn't anything to do with us. Well, that's what I'm saying. No, you don't roll with rat catchers. No sane dog would. What I'm saying is, you cause enough ruckus around here to get the rat catchers spilling in and out of the canals here in Silkshore, picking up all kinds of things, mostly my dogs. We've missed three dogs, two nights ago. One of them, I believe you knew, Scud. And Scud, Not if you remember. Scud. Yeah. Scud was a dog who was, uh, you basically took over uh, his watch of the children. Uh, his his pack mate, Axe, had succumbed to the wounds uh, he suffered in protecting them. And uh, Scud then left it to you and went to join Greener Pastures to deserve a a uh, well-deserved rest, or so he thought. Not Scud. That's right. So Scud's in the slammer? Scud's in the slammer. And I'm looking at you, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking you'd be a great asset to us, for one. But more importantly, I'm thinking you've... You've stirred up enough muck around here... to get us all into trouble. And I think you're going to fix it. Well, we sure want to fix any problems we've made for you, old maid. Now, whether we're going to join your pack, we'll have to discuss amongst ourselves. <laughs> she stands up again and really thinks about it. <laughs> and you see her take the ones, like... Mm -hmm. And then she does it. She just in one drop goes, kind of slides on some of the rock like shale, and then catches herself at the bottom before kind of sliding into a sit <laughs> at the bottom of the mound, now opposite you. And her breath is so dog. It's so dog. Oh, it's so great. You got a great breath, Miss Maze, ma'am. Thank you. Many have told me so. And she allows for you to sniff her. <laughs> I want to make something. I do so as well. Oh, good. Yes, you can sniff all around her. Piffle seems like pretty it. interested. Okay, good. <laughs> you declare it out loud. She goes, oh, "You're welcome to." And uh, Piffle like nips at one of your heels, like, "Watch it, watch it, watch it with the old maid." And uh, that's when Snap goes, "Oh, Piffle, shut up." Uh, old maid says, "I want to make something clear. I think you." You're good dogs, good boys, good girls. But this... Uh, go. Oh, everybody's wagging. I can't believe yeah. it. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> uh -huh. I want to make it clear. Still sure. It's going to be my pack would greatly appreciate your assistance in bringing my pet back home. Maybe so much I might leave you alone to your business with those children. We just have one really important question. Hmm. Where do I get a pink collar like yours? You kind of, uh looks back at you with like a 
dare you? And she goes, you mean the bondage? Yeah, it's kind of cute. I like the fuzzy. Oh, you don't like it? my shame. My embarrassment. That's she's like... (laughs) (laughs) It is the mark that the humans put on us. I left. Those humans decided I wouldn't take it off. It's a reminder. Well, if you ever do take it off, I'll definitely take it from you. I think it would look great on my fur. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and it's I stinky. missed the room. <laughs> Piffle actually um, has taken a keener interest in you waffles. Um, and it's now like doing a straight up like under your ear trying to sniff inside of it and then you feel a little a little <laughs> like thank you use your safety tools everyone yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry yeah good <laughs> um yes um and she turns it back on all of you and says The dog been around here. I think you know him too. Ray, silvery dog. Mean. Bastard. Yes. He says he's looking for kids. Trying to take them back? Yes. Now you'll be happy to know. I didn't say anything. Thank you, old maid. Welcome. But I would hate to have to pass that information on. So will you help me break in the rat catchers? Bust my pack out. I feel like we don't have a choice here, so I guess. <laughs> oh, there's a choice, she says with a snarl. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of looking back at everyone, gauging we'll how you're all feeling. We'll find Scud. Yeah, I get Scud. Yeah, for Scud, we'll do it. And if there's a way to find the rest of them, we'll get them out. There but should be three we're... I'm looking for. I'm looking for Scud. I'm looking for the one that knows. And I'm looking for Rowdy. But one that knows Rowdy. What do they smell like? Uh, and uh, she goes, <laughs> and another dog comes running up. Uh, this kind of poodle-ish looking mix uh, with uh, some scraps of their bedding. <laughs> For you to confirm, so that you can, uh, you know, do a a, uh, a, a a an identity check, should you find them. <laughs> Great. Mm-hmm. Great. She says, "Like I said, I sincerely appreciate your assistance, and I want you to enjoy some of these uh, fine scraps we've collected on the way out, if you need." Um, and she. Uh, gestures over to and starts walking um, to uh, where you saw all of the the scraps being rationed out and says Boomer let him have a taste and he moves aside and uh, lets you eat if you want yeah Yeah. Hudson waits till one of the dogs makes eye contact with him before he goes (laughs) yeah (laughs) Great, and you can find little bits and meats, some of it rotting and delicious. Uh, there's mm. like a couple of raw eggs in there, just like straight up. Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. It's that good. Basking that literally, literally basking it. Oh good, <laughs> roll around in it. <laughs> yeah. She lets it go for a minute, and then she goes, "All right, that's enough. That's enough." That's enough. And then she barks at you. All right. We're all on the same page. <laughs> and, and you can see in this moment, she she turns it up pretty good with a big bark um, mm-hmm. and puts her bulldog foot down. Um, I'll sit. 
<laughs> yeah. He looks at you like the marks of the human oppressors. And then she, uh, looking at you, Lysander, with your obedient sit. <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, she uh, turns around and uh, starts to climb the mound before she gets uh, like a quarter of the way up and thinks better of it to do it in front of you and turns back around. Thank you again. Now, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oof, she was terrifying. Oh, yeah. My. Got, got real Ooh. elf energy. I could just <laughs> feel her disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> if I had no, human I... owners who fed me, I would be okay with that. Yeah, there was a lot of hostility about humans. I don't really get that because, like, humans are awesome. Yeah. They give you scratches. That collar, that collar was on point. It was, like, like super in style right now. I'm like, it looked, it looked real like good. Maybe. I've seen a lot of those pink collars around. Yeah, you hear a jingling it as you leave as she's trying to get up the mound. <laughs> That's probably not going very well, is it? God, if they put a bell on me, I'd run away too. Or to sneak well, I could just two on the bell. Sorry. You zoned right in on that bell. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think um, we better maybe start asking some questions and see what we can do about getting these three out of the slammer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here's what you'd know, right? Um, there are... Um, various kind of pounds in the area before dogs are either euthanized and sent to the canneries. Um, the one in Silk Shore, you know exactly where it is. Dogs clear, steer clear of it. It has got enough of a reputation that dogs don't want to be there. So you know where it is. Uh, you also know that it can be uh, difficult, obviously, for dogs to get out. But you know that uh, you've heard of like legendary heroes um, of the dog world. Um, dogs like Longtooth and dogs like Breaker who have been able to get in um, and back out again. So there's some kind of a, there's some kind of a, a hope for you all potentially. Um, not to mention Cloud who uh, got in and was never seen um, again, did not leave. So by, by, by good or bad means. So who knows what happened to Cloud. Nevertheless, you know this. Um, you might ask around if you need anything. Um, otherwise, uh, the objective is get in, find them, get out. Hmm. Okay. I... I would like to ask around, I don't know how I would be able to ask this, if the rat catcher who now has it in for me is based in this one. Oh, okay, fantastic. Yeah, so you ask around a bit, um, and uh, your best lead on this might even be Cassandra, um, who you find one night, um, and she's uh, just out in the street doing her thing, and tells you, oh, well, lucky for you, no. <sighs> but, heard he's not very pleased with the dog that did that. And kind of gestures to her own paw. You really, you really tore him one, did you? He's doing something with the box. He's gonna, you know. I think you did the right thing. I'm not... Okay, guilting okay, you. good. Okay. You dogs in your sense of... Oh. I, 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 roll, I, I roll over like in front of her. No. <laughs> and uh, she kind of rubs up against you and rolls around and goes, you should be careful about this one, but if anybody can do it, you sly lot can. And you hear a human call from some distance. It's a young, uh, the voice of a young girl, and you can almost make it out, a word you've uh, heard, and you hear the word, Midnight! Midnight! And Cassandra goes, oh shit, I have to go. 
and then what? runs off. Where are you going? <laughs> Midnight. <laughs> she turns back if you're with them, like, shut up, and then keeps going, climbing up. Bye, Kathy. <laughs> That's going to be really fun later. <laughs> Midnight. <laughs> well, why would you choose an enemy Cassandra if it was midnight? Like, it's a cooler name. He like hops down next to you and is like, because it's a way better name. Way better. <laughs> Sandra's a very beautiful name. It's mysterious, of course. Hops back up and then like runs off. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's fine. Well, I think we're ready to launch in. I mean, unless. Great. Let's yeah, do it. I, I'm I very can. satisfied for the level of planning. So as a reminder, yeah, I mean, we can still, uh, you know, use I flashbacks know. if you want. You also have luck loads. Um, so instead of loads, you can use luck, which allow you to um, utilize things or find things that uh, are kind of lucky finds, basically. So um, that will help you uh, in getting in, getting out um, as well. Also, I think um, uh, Devin... You can assign four additional pips wherever you'd like. I think so, because I think you only have the base pips in your I did, ship. and then Garaham told me to add two more, so I can add another two more. Uh, oh, you did it. We're all did. I should have five, five dots. Does I that have... sound right? Sorry, I'm glad Graham did that. Sorry, I just I've wanted got to make sure. one, two, three, four, five, six I total. Got... Yeah, I'd say put yourself at six. Is that everyone? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Awesome. Okay, good. I'm reading Jamie's face, which is like, I, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely six. It's, it's not seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, okay, well, you make your way to the Silk Shore um, Pound, and it is a pretty nondescript you know brown gray building it's got a pretty good solid uh wall surrounded by other buildings it's kind of in a pack a tightly packed area um off of one of the canals as well um so uh just looking at it it's a terrifying sight for dogs and you only see that there is one man inside of the gate who's kind of uh just kind of walking around checking checking the perimeter that's all you see on your uh, initial glance can i roll either a hunt or maybe a serve to see if i can smell scuds uh or any of the other ones that we've checked on at all oh, right? yeah absolutely just to confirm that they're there Absolutely, yeah. It's a five. Okay, good. Yeah, and this is this is a controlled position, so I think you're gonna feel pretty good. Um, you pick up the scent, and it actually takes you around to one of the sides of the building. So this is a building. Um, there's small little um, alleys in between uh, and around it. Um, and it takes you kind of to the back left side of that, if the front of the gate were here. And that's where you're getting the strongest scent from around here. I think they're, they're on this side of the building. Good work. That was awesome, Siren. That's a little smart. <laughs> Great. That, no that's, all I had, that's all I had planned. Um, and they all stand there going... Just... <laughs> um, Accurate. Can I do um, a, a survey thingy thing and try to sleuth out maybe um, like a like a window I can squeeze through or something into the building? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Go ahead and make a roll and survey. Can I see what you see here? Four. Okay, four. That's good. Um, so you look out and you do see there are um, a few windows. One, two, three, um, with some lights on. You can see that they're closed with kind of a pane of glass. One of them, the furthest to the right, is cracked a bit. 
as you look up onto it. Um, one of the issues you're noticing with this situation is that um, it's higher up than you would like it to be, um, though there is definitely, um, you know, potential, given the right uh, idea, to get inside uh, from that angle. Hudson, I need a doggy back wide. Yeah, you got it. I'm ready. And I'll help nose you up onto my back. <laughs> oh my gosh. The corgi's riding the Bernese. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds that yes. way. Photo up. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, gosh. Okay, fantastic. So, um, you've come around to the back of this. Um, and what's your plan here, Hudson? I mean, I'll just get you up as high as I can get you. Uh, I can I can reach pretty high and hope, hoping to keep um, waffles on my back. I'll bring my front front paws up. Okay. And I can reach a height of like I don't know four and a half feet. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so he does that, and he gets up. It feels like riding a giant on waffles. You're on kind of the top of his shoulders slash head. The window that is cracked is about three feet, two and a half feet above you. Okay, this is not enough. Cywin? Cywin. <laughs> Cywin? Oh my gosh. Or, yeah. or Lysander. We need to just make a doggy ladder. I need a doggy ladder. I don't... I'm going to go behind and like jump up and look through the window. And I'll be like, yeah, it is pretty high. I don't think you'll be able to reach it. Not- okay, and Lysander, you're literally because you can jump that high, right? You you're like yeah. a you can jump eight feet in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. He's so like, you- how how are we how are we gonna get in there? You won't be able to even reach it. Just, you gotta give us a paw over here. I'm gonna- Lysander, you jump in. <laughs> oh <laughs> that's so funny. I could just jump in. Yeah, I was looking at you. And you're the same height as the window, so you should be able to jump in. Okay, I'll jump in. I'll try to do that, I guess. <laughs> awesome. So, so the window itself uh, is is uh, a jar. How it's a jar, though, they let it out from this way, right? Mm-hmm. So it's on a hinge along the bottom to let some of the kind of air uh, up without doing that. So you could mm-hmm. potentially jump it and either like dunk it or but we'll see. What is it? What's a role you can make for this? Well, I mean, finesse. I feel like is what I'm trying to do. But I mean, it'd be nice if we could kind of wreck this in a way that would let everyone in. But I don't think I should try to wreck. I should finesse. I have zero pips in wreck and three in finesse. Oh, okay. yeah. do it, finesse uh, it. That is double sixes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And this is finesse. Yeah. Okay. So you get onto it. Um, and you put enough weight on it uh, that it actually holds a bit, surprisingly, enough for you to kind of slurp yourself up and slide down the window into now, you land like square into a cell. And there's a Did dog in, there's a dog in there who's like, oh, smokes, who are you? Oh, hello, my name is Lysander. What are you? He looks up at that window. He's a small guy. He's like a little, um, a uh, little like Boston Terrier. He's like, well, what are you t- coming in to sh- get the? F- we're gonna. We're it's trying the- to. We're trying to. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna <laughs> spring y'all. Spring us all? How? And he looks legitimately like confused. <laughs> I'm like looking up at the window and like wagging my tail, waiting for the rest of my friends to obviously <laughs> jump through just as I have done. I mean, we're can... all sitting looking at the window as well. Just like, like, all right. Just wait, right. just wait, just wait, just uh, wait. <laughs> and you, you can hear on the inside two dogs talking, kind of muffled. Yeah. And he goes over and he uh, barks to a dog that's across in a different cell. Um, and he says, these idiots think they're going to bust us out. Uh, and Lysander, you look over and it's Scud. Um, and Scud is, he kind of is asleep and he kind of opens his eye and stands up. You remember that Scud is a dog of, uh, very few words. Um, if any, 
you can't recall if he's ever spoken. But when he sees you, Lysander, his tail goes. Just ever so like this. He's a um, bull terrier, the target dog. Yeah. Conical nose. And his little tail or nubbin just goes a little bit like this. <laughs> oh, Scud! We came to get you out! <laughs> and he kind of stands up and paws on the bars of his uh, of his little kennel. Great. I'll be right back. And I'll turn around and, I don't know, maybe with this critical success, can I just, like... Yeah, right I, out again. I'd say if you wanted to, <laughs> you could you could bust this window properly to get it to flip all the way down, and probably provide enough of a, a like situation for someone else to uh, like get up. Okay, great. Um, Hudson's outside the window, going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll break it. All right, great. So. You bust this window, you break it on its hinge by just like basically jumping back up in there and going kunk, 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 until it breaks and it swings down and shatters the glass um, a little bit, which is, you know, it shines down, but it's it's not cutting anybody, but it shatters the glass and leaves essentially kind of a pane swinging uh, on the outside of this um, window or where, where y'all could maybe get in. Right. Uh... Can I, in the interim, have used a point of luck yes. to uh, find a convenient crate and just sort of push it <laughs> over towards yeah. the wall um, to lessen the distance to jump? Yeah, you get the crate over there and Waffles is already in and Hudson's like halfway up climbing, like struggling on this like makeshift like broken ladder and Siren just pushes this underneath. few leg scrambles later uh can should we roll to get in or do you think um, we can manage it now i think hudson you should i think waffles could have easily scrambled up from there makes sense but, but i think if you're doing the big jump you're such a big fella would you accept a uh some kind of resolve related role as if like the determination to get up is gonna get him up there yeah i think the biggest thing you'd have to deal with is the 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 like Putting the pointy windows and where you're grabbing is like mm -hmm. not gonna feel super great. So I could I could imagine it as sort of like a determination gritting through it. Yeah, kind just of muscle, muscle through. Yeah. I'm thinking of when my dog tries to get into the trunk. It takes sometimes like a good five minutes just to like psych her up to believe she can do it. Yeah, exactly. I I totally. But she can it. actually jump pretty high when she wants to. Love it. Uh, okay, so let's see. What would that be? Should I do a it's weird for it to be like you know myself uh but like command or sway um i will take a command yeah i feel like command is, is yeah. willpower strength I, I feel like i would take a command and i would like allow... your old your yes. old soul commanding that old body just do yeah. it yeah, just exactly. do it just do it just do exactly. it just do it Oh no, it's a three! Oh no! Can I? I'm looking at like my luck. If there's anything I can do to modify that. Um, the crate was for. <laughs> so the crate was for. I know. This guy. <laughs> Did I get any help from the crate? Yeah. Or the crate just made it possible. <laughs> um. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. It's... I could find another entrance. Yeah, Go I think that's okay. Me. Yeah. So you you hit the ground. Poof. Um, which I'm not gonna any harm um but it will raise a bit of suspicion as there's like a thump on the side of the house uh or on <laughs> yeah. the side of the building from somebody and maybe a little bit of like a you know oh yes i don't know a if boof. kaylee gives it like a a boof when she's when she's wounded emotionally <laughs> oh. sweetest of that oh kaylee kaylee uh she's a hypochondriac she gives the oh ah, my heart is hurting so i'm <laughs> oh, gonna yeah. yell yeah, oh, that's exactly right. <laughs> so you probably hit hit the ground there. Um, yeah, I'll get back um, up. There's I, kind of like some the crate or whatever clattering on the floor. Exactly. Look around to make sure no one has seen me, and I'm, I say I'm gonna find another entrance, and I'll slink around. Great. All right, that's cool. Um, Siren, you going in by normal means? Um, I'll stick with Hudson. 
Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And, and leave the crate here for them to get out? Yeah, it's an exit route. Okay. Great. Let's do this. Fantastic. So, to contend with on the outside, you know that there is this uh, patrol going around on the outside, who has been raised a little bit. We'll call that one tick into um, um, suspicion. Uh, we'll just call it that clock, um, and that'll be a four-part clock of just suspicion. As you move about. Okay. Yeah, so in terms of like the building itself, I'm thinking of what other types of entrances there might be, ground floor type stuff. Yeah. Well, are we stuck and in a cell right now? <laughs> so it's Waffles and Lysander are in this little cell. Yeah, which, you know, you can... Uh, you can figure out that for Hudson and Siren as you go about on the outside if you'd make just one prowl roll to see how well you do just kind of uh, dodging this fellow um, I will help you does that sound yeah, good it sounds great yeah. how's your, how's your so prowl Siren good. I'm I'm a two prowl so Ooh. with help uh, it's a four Woo. good great lovely so I'm going to put just one more tick, so two out of four, um, where, you know, there's sounds and the guy keeps going, turning back around, but he hasn't spotted you. What you scout out on the outside of this by prowling, there is a back, like, kind of like a back door entrance um, that seems to be um, kind of a not as well used. Um, that is got a, a, a little lock um, on it, but it's one of these, for some reason, it's got two... It's got the top and the bottom, uh, whatever you call them, half doors. Yeah, like a, oh, a yeah. barn, like a yeah, slit style. door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's 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 you know kind of locked there from the inside, but um, the lock is on the top part of the store. You also have uh, a sort of um, cellar opening entrance type thing. It's not open, but you can see that there is the um, oh yeah the bulkhead shut. yeah the bulkhead type. I'm going straight for the bulkhead. Uh, Great. All right. Uh, you could maybe maneuver this and try to get it open. Uh, you would uh, need yeah. to uh, aid you to give you a die and uh, utilize. Yeah. And if there's anything in luck to help increase your effect on this, you could also look at that. Let's see. I did not declare my luck uh, oh, your setting. Load? Sure. Yeah, yeah, but I'll, you know, I'll go with five just to keep things average. Cool. So let me see, maybe, um, I mean, a small tunnel looks rather tempting, but uh, we could say maybe there's a fishing net and I can use the fishing net that's like tangled on the bulkhead yeah. with my teeth and just pull it open. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, this is just, there's a bunch of stuff like just stored here on the outside of it and you can see where people have just lazily thrown stuff likely nets that they've used to fish out i'm sorry dead dead animal and vermin and Oof. from the from the waters um Great. yeah so give it a tug give it a hearty tug okay and i've got you you said you're um, i'm aiding you aiding yeah. me great okay and this so, is utilized <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna. This is high stakes. I'm gonna push. So I'll roll two. The three. Oh uh, no! <laughs> just can't win. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're in a bit of a controlled position here, um, so it's not like there's nothing bad that's gonna happen out of this. You do give mm -hmm. it a tug, and as you pull it. Um, some of it breaks and actually grabs the other handle of it, sort of kind of locking it closed. <laughs> so you pull it and it's going. Fuh, 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 fuh. So it might take time to eat through it and try again. Um, yeah, you hear you hear uh, Hudson just go. Grumpy <laughs> 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 snarl. <laughs> Yeah, we'll uh, we'll <laughs> we'll leave you there, maybe nibbling on it or whatever you think was best, and we'll check in to the uh, the inside. And Scud's still standing there, going, <laughs> and this other fellow, like, yeah, and this other fellow standing here. So, what's your right idea? Hmm. I'm just wagging my tail and looking around. 
What do what do I what do I see? Great, fantastic. So here's what you see. You are in one cell. Next to it is another cell. And these are not like kennels. These are like cartoon jails, okay? Please play in my world. Um, yeah, so that okay. means that there are bars in between all of the, you know, spots, you know, um, mm -hmm. th this is Lady and the Tramp, okay? Um, <laughs> and it seemed like you're expecting some resistance. To no, I, I, I was, and everyone's <laughs> like, sort of what I pictured, yeah. and then I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. it, it wouldn't be like yeah. iron rot bars for humans, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. Thank no. God. Yeah, that's right. It is. It's <laughs> iron rot bars. Um, Great. It likely, honestly, it could have been something that was converted from like a, a little, you know, jailhouse type situation uh, that maybe the blue coats operated, but now has been, you know, deemed, you know, not mm -hmm. usable and has become the rat catchers. Um, nevertheless, so you are in one cell. There is a cell next to you. There is, um, in that cell, it is empty. Um, you do see that there is like some scrap of uh, cloth, uh, maybe like even a little bit of um, fur from the previous uh, folks. And then you see also next to uh, the other side of you is where there is on the walls um, kind of the, the like key situation. So there's some keys hung up there on the wall outside of the pen. Um, mm on your on the left of you oh straight across there's another dog in a cell presumably your other um uh fo uh, dog you need to rescue the one who knows or uh -huh. it's got Rocky? yeah the, yeah the one who knows in fact i'm sorry i didn't even tell you Rowdy? this Rowdy? the one who knows is sitting there and it is the smallest little teacup chihuahua you've ever seen <laughs> And it's standing there, and it's got a tongue that's twice as long as its snout, practically, hanging out of the side of it, and it's looking at you. And it hasn't said anything. And he's very, very small. Oh, are you the one who knows? Can you, can you just sit through the bar? And the, the, you... the, <laughs> sorry. The, the dog with you goes, it's not worth it. It's the dumbest yes. dog I've ever met. No, 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 no. The dog walked in to the cell. <laughs> well, the dog has a plan, maybe. We walked into a cell with, we were waiting <laughs> to find the one who knows how to get out. And yeah. that's this one. <laughs> And the, one, and who the knows, one who knows. Yeah, literally, you can see the one who knows could fit between these bars and confound it. These get, like he just sat in there, and so they've probably just left him because he's just been sitting. What a good dog! <laughs> Listen, and, and ah. this dog's this other dog. Oh, by the way, uh, my name's Shep. Shep, you're not Shep. on my list. I think my accent's changed, but don't worry <laughs> about it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We came here to find you, the one who I will address the one who knows. And I'll he's like, you knew we were coming. And he looks at you and he gives a solemn blink. It's actually one after the other. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get to Miss Come old lady maid sent us. And uh, with the with actually the a, a little mention of old maid gets the teensiest bit of like ears going. Do you want to see old maid? Do you want to see old maid? You want to see old maid? Then walk to the damn bars. <laughs> Can you make a consort <laughs> or command? Either uh, one. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe do a consort. That's uh, a little bit better for me. Okay. Um, I got a one and a three, so it didn't go well. And he's just standing there going, actually, you know what he does? He stands up. He walks through the bars and he comes straight into your cell and sits down. <laughs> oh no! Not don't we want to see? Oh my god! Okay, we're, <laughs> we'll go back to outside. How's it going, Hudson and Siren? Do you have any ideas? <laughs> uh, I, I, I have a bad idea. I love it. We bang. On, one of us bangs on the door on this ground door until someone comes to open it. Then 
one of us was hiding, the other one runs. And they chase after the one that runs, leaving whoever's left to go in through the open door. Siren, this is not a bad idea. Oh, okay. Oh, good. <laughs> when I when I used to get penned up back when I was uh, working for the military, <laughs> they would uh, I would just scratch on the door, and eventually they would get so mad they would come out. Yeah. Okay. Well, then let's do that. It's only uh, the logical uh, thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're stuck outside. Do you need someone to let you in? Yeah. Okay. I'll scratch. You run. You're fast. I'm fast. And okay. then I'll slip in and I'll see if I can find another entrance to open. Maybe I'll come push. No, the bulkhead's tied <laughs> shut. Mm. I, 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 I can go through the window. I was just feeling sorry for you. That's why I came with you. <laughs> come here. And I'll let go in for the neck lean dog hug. Like, you're, you're a really good dog, Siren. Aww. Okay, and I'll start annoyingly scratching, uh, like jumping up and pawing at the door, and then boofing. Boof, boof. Okay, so you're pounding on it, right? This is the, which door is this? <laughs> this is the door that's beside the bulkhead that goes into the ground floor. Okay, great. Yeah, the, the two... What would yeah. this be? Do you think like a sway or a command? Um, I think command. You want to get people in, out yeah, here. Yeah, you want in. people to come. Or right. sway would be if you if you want them to think like you're messing with them. I think a little bit. So I think up to you. Let's do command. Okay. That is a six. Okay. Yeah. Finally, Hudson. <laughs> Good. So boom, you're bounding on this door and you're boofing. You're boofing, uh, and. Finally, uh, coming from around the corner comes the other guy who's looking around this side, and then you hear the door unlatch and also open, and there's one other guy in there who goes, oh, 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 and he, he's he's not wearing his, like, pants, you know? He's, I mean, he's relaxed in there, you know? He's that kind of thing, so he's taken <laughs> off guard, and he's not taking anything, and he's like, oh, and he turns around to go grab, like, his boots and his and his baton um as the other guy on the outside making uh the patrol turns this will complete suspicion we'll just say they're suspicious at this point and uh and the other uh guy on the outside goes hey! and points straight out to you hudson while this other guy tries to get his boots on and leaves the door wide open do you think there's enough of a window for us both to just get in now while he's getting his pants you could <laughs> yeah you could try it if you're ready to go <laughs> okay i say go change a plan Run! <laughs> yes. Excellent. Fantastic. So you go running in past him, and it basically whirl around him, and he does one of those, and papers fly into the air. You know, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Anything at tail level is just yeah, crashing exactly. and flying. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Tail level, which is like four feet high. Yeah, exactly. There's like mugs falling over. It's kind of a sty in here. This is where they have like their little rest area in the back, which is why it's mostly locked. They don't come in and around this way. Um, and so you can bolt in past and through the door if you want. Working yeah. my way back toward the cells if I can. Okay, do, we, the do we hear any of this? Do we hear some sort yeah, of commotion? Yeah, you hear. You start to hear a commotion, and then you start to hear barking, boofing, and barking from inside. It sounds like it's getting closer. Um, and right. Hudson, you have a chance here, left or right. Oh goodness! Always right. Good. You bust right. uh, this right. door, and it is latched. How well can you guys operate a door? Uh, find out. Probably yeah. not well. My utilize is low. Uh, zero utilize for me, so I, I can aid you if you. <laughs> <laughs> How about I, I aid you this all time? Yeah. <laughs> I, yep, I, opened the door. I, I opened the doors earlier. I'm pretty sure I remember how that works. You're I'm good sure this doors. mechanism is exactly the same. Um, a racetrack door and pound door. You got uh, this good dog. Yeah. Ah, good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Oh, yes. Okay, fantastic. So you get this door open and one of the guys who just got his pants on, Hudson grabs your tail two handed, <gasps> grabs it. Two -handed. Yeah. So you are. Uh, I'll bite him. I'll straight up bite him. Oh, my gosh. All oh, right. Oh, if you grabbed Hudson's tail. Okay. 
You can yeah. well, fuck well, around well, and find out. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll come back to this bite in just a second. But the door flings open, and you see their siren. And uh, this is when the one who knows turns and looks and just walks out. Hate that talk. He like walks right past you, siren. Wait, no, well, I, I, I'm here to rescue you. What? <laughs> Where, where are you go? And he says. Aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper? I'm just kidding. He doesn't say that. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, just, I love it. Uh, All right. When I, I see my friends, I'll say, the keys are there, and then I'll do that, like, point thing. <laughs> Fantastic. What's All right. A key? <laughs> What's a key? Um, and I'm just really excited and running in circles, being like, it's right there. Get it. Get it. Get it. Like, right. myself. Fantastic. So, Siren, you're going to head for the key, Hudson. You're going to hold the door. Oh, I'm biting the Great. shit out of this guy's Go hand. for it. Wreck him. Or scrap him or whatever you do. Mm, what's it going to be? You know, I'm going to push to get one die in. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty stressed I here, folks. I love how much we're doing Can this here. <laughs> <laughs> how much we're doing the zero attributes. It's I know. So funny. <laughs> Well, Hudson's <laughs> old, so like, he's yeah. grouchy, but he actually isn't a very strong dog, you know, compared to what he used to be. No. Oh, way I could boy. Aid. 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 It is a he's four, a however. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Good. You're gonna. So get... I do the like. It's not the full clamp down. It's the I I I I I like yeah. warning bite. Yeah. Like <laughs> let go, let go, and it still kind of hurts. And he starts yelling ah ah, and he lets go of one hand, um, and um. As a uh, result of the four, he's gonna still hang on with this other hand and give it a tug. It won't give you harm, but he's just kind of like trying to mess with you. To oh. his choice is is try to fight the dog. So, <laughs> uh, great, Siren, can you do it? Uh, yeah, I imagine this is gonna be a finesse to. Yeah, see if you can uh, get the key get off. The keys. Are yeah. they on the wall, like on a hook? Yeah, or... it's like on a hook. It's a big ring, though. It's classic in here, very classic. I'm going <laughs> to sort of um, bound up and leap into the air, slow motion, like, yeah. ah, to try to grab it. Uh, I'm going to push myself for this. All right, five. Great. OK, you grab it, um, and it hits the floor um, as you as you grab it, and uh, um, and uh, let's see here. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, you can go take it and try to get it into uh, oh open God. the door. Let's do it. Let's do it. I will aid yeah. you. OK, good. How, how, how will you aid? At you. Oh, yeah, encouragements. That's good. Encouragements? I don't know. Does that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. I'm a good You're boy. the good boy, barking. Good. All right, I'm just going to. I assume I've seen humans doing this before, so I'm gonna try to utilize. You can do uh, it. You just gotta and, get it in. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh no. That's oh, a two. No. <laughs> okay, that's a two. So you try to get it, and you just drop it onto the floor. <gasps> um, great, fantastic. Um, it's at this point that um, Scud panting there lets out the first bark you've ever heard and it's sharp and you look over at him and he's really looking concerned and meanwhile um, the other dog goes mom we gotta go we gotta get out of here and he's looking back up at the window and he's thinking about trying to jump out of it he makes a couple of jumps um, uh, and he's not able to make it out. Um, you could try the keys again, um, but at this point, um, uh, the other rat catcher is pulling in from the other side, and Hudson's out there trying to hold the hold the door from two rat catchers, who's pulled out shink his uh, his pole. And can waffles with her amazing chewing ability, see if she can somehow unlock <laughs> the thing with her teeth first. I would say <laughs> for the amazing thing, do you have luck for your 
uh, like... I don't know what that means. So I think on the bottom right, there is like a bunch of options you can choose for like thematic little uh, boosts you can get, like a sharp pair of teeth or something like that. Oh, I didn't touch any of those. That's okay. You So when, when we're in this score, you can pick any at your will to uh, mm. use in this situation. It's like a retroactive, oh, I had this all along. Yeah, exactly. it turns out that there was uh, an alleyway there. In the exactly. Pro that, that, that might not apply to it. Oh, okay. Uh, so like quiet pause. Oh, okay. Would be yeah, a thing. Yeah, quiet That's pause, awesome. sneaking around. I do not have anything uh, for teeth. Te so. Teeth related? No, nothing. That's okay. I would allow. I would say in this situation, because I love the narrative of it, is that you you can pick the keys back up and try to help, like, because you have t like mouth dexterity. Through, through, from chewing walls? Yes, from like <laughs> literally working around on it, that you're gonna help Siren try to get these back in. I would yes, totally okay. take that. Siren kick, kicks it through this. the door to you. Let's do this, Siren. <laughs> I love waffles. <laughs> um, so what do I, uh, uh, do, do, I you, do you have um, finesse? I would take I maybe have finesse. Yeah. Yeah. I have one I dot, think. so I roll. I will. I will aid you in it by uh, kind of putting poles on the door and just starting to shake it to like try to. As soon as as soon as you can get the key in, hopefully to like shake it open. And uh, how many? So how many dice do I roll if I already have a one block? You block filled in. <laughs> You're gonna get um, one dice for the pip and then one for the assists. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do this. I believe. Let's... I got a five. Yes. 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 Okay. So working together, you can feel Waffles' dexterous little chompers, like stealing a few nibbles of this, but kind of feeling out, finally gets this thing locked in and you're able to turn it. And the gate, probably from Waffles, you leaning on it, just goes shwing, and f opens like straight into you, Siren. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't out that. We didn't think that one was cool. Yeah. Um, so, the gate is open, and uh, Shep at that point runs out um, and runs in circles outside of Scud's um, um, uh, cell. Meanwhile, Hudson, you've got two guys on you. Ooh, yeah, I'll call back. Uh, Have you found Scud's? Is he free? Not, not, not yet. Hurry up! I don't don't think I can hold him very long. Oh. All of this to the guards is probably. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and they're like looking at you. He's got a hand on your tail. <laughs> let, I know that I'm, you know, pushing credulity here, but should, you know, maybe um, there is a small tunnel <laughs> coming out of the guards' room. Maybe like a laundry chute. Yeah, absolutely. Or something mm -hmm. that I could. Because one of my things into, is thinking. You know in what's a in that basement? Way. Yeah. So yeah. cool. So maybe, or or even like a vent, like a broken vent or something that we could slide down. Absolutely. And in a flash, Hudson says, "This is it. This is the secret exit." What was the name of the dog? Oh, uh, the, the one who knows. Uh, long tooth. Oh, long, long tooth. tooth. I was like, oh, long I was like tooth. we're gonna oh, be long like long tooth. <laughs> Come oh. on, guys. <laughs> this is getting even more like the Death Star um, escape by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take Garbage that shoot. Go. through my luck. Now, uh, that just happens. Does that constitute an action? Should I do some um, other kind of action? So I found it. I think you've found it and it's there. I would take one action to shake him off your tail, literally. Okay. If you yeah. want to like do that, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a command and try and really scare them this time. I'll kind of like, you know, flatten my ears back. Yeah. And like, bare my teeth, show those big canines. You do it, make him scared. And this time I'm pushing again. Uh, I am at the, on the verge here in terms of stress. Just oh, so baby. everyone's aware. So happy. So. I want to stress I, the dog out. That's so sad. I know. I know. But all right, so I'm rolling three for command. <laughs> okay. You got this. I believe in you. Six. 
Yes. Uh, All right. He he thinks better of his choice to try to fight you and kind of backs up for a minute to like assess the situation. Um, and the guy behind on the other side of you, um, you uh, are surprised that he hasn't jumped you. And when you turn around to look, you see that the one who knows comes coming back. Trot, 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 trot. And opens his mouth. There's like one tooth and bites at this dude's heel who turns around and looks at him and is stunned in place. As the one who knows looks at him. Is he an experiment? He's a wit. Stunned in place. And he's just standing there. Locked down. All right, so inside. Can we get Scud out? <laughs> it's, it's on you, Waffles. I don't know. I don't understand how that thing works. I can I can try again. See what happens this time. Do it. Somebody okay. wants to give her a boost or something. I'll she help you get out. That assist. Yeah. I'll, All right, guys. I'll aid you. Take an extra dive. Wag your wag your tail real hard. Let's do this. I got a fix. Yes. Yes. I yes. Also said fix. This is the also um. Sick. Yeah, this is Michael Jordan slam junk. It's like. You like push the like they throw the corgi up and it's like key in and she like turns it and then she yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um. Do you take the key with you? Always. Yes. Make an accessory. Fantastic. Uh, that'll be a nice bit of scrap, actually. Scrap isn't always food. Um, so you grab this, and you got it. And Scud gives one more bark the second you've ever heard him. And it seems he's excited as he takes off first, like past you, boom, to take off out of here. So um, Hudson, are you guiding them toward the exit? Yeah, I'm going to try and hold off the one who is not stunned while the others make it back through. I mean, if I need to, I have a, a little trick up my sleeve, but I'll try and draw all of the attention to me. I'm the mean dog that yeah. bit him. Yeah, he'll buy, for, he'll buy it. Um, so Scud will go to your direction and jump down this this chute, um, this tunnel, and anyone else who me wants too. to follow. Great, shoot, yep. boom. Go on, guys, I'll follow you. Fly, you fools. Is, <laughs> is there any way I you can... can't pick up the one who knows like just grab, grab him by yeah. the scruff of his neck. he's like um, a literal he's just the tiniest thing it's kind um, of go it's kind of go come on you, you, you notice that when you do the other guard goes oh. Oh. as you're oh. able to jump down into the um thing but he seems like he's staggered for a minute hudson as your friends all get down the chute okay and uh, do you need to do one more trick? Uh, well, it was just in case they attacked one of my friends. So seeing that they've uh, all gotten out, is that true? Yeah, mm -hmm. the, way I, the, the way I envisioned is that you sort of like push this guy back off of you to kind of make room for them to get through yeah. and sort of stood Perfect. your ground on them. So okay. all it leaves is I'll give a big... Oh, 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 to, to say to all the other dogs, we're like long tooth. We busted people out of here, and one day we're coming back for all of you. And then I'll I'll very delicately slide down the shaft. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine Kaylee going down the stairs. Oh yeah, it's like that. Yeah. So boom, you go down the chute, which is a pretty good drop, um, and essentially uh, gets you into this um, like basement area of the like where you think that would go and that everyone else it doesn't take very long to find there's like a um uh kind of like venting into the canal out here that you're able to squeeze through and work out and make your way um running uh as fast as you can yes yay oh. Oh. Yes. wait is it doggy paddling what are we doggy paddling uh if you uh, if you need to jump into the canal it's very cold but uh, I think it's probably the best way to avoid those guys. So if you swim across and then go for, for your run, you could bring these. Uh, I just really wanted to do this real bad for like no reason. <laughs> I should have got you guys swimming earlier. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, 
Fantastic. Um, well, by way of um, wanting to uh, not keep us too much longer, since we're a little over than I, what I meant to, um, I'll sort of expedite our our return. Um, mm. Old Maid is very, very pleased to see that you were so successful, and also uh, she seems genuinely relieved to see you all safe and without harm. She gives you an offer, um, a thought about joining up with her pack, um, and doesn't actually pressure you to think about it too much. Uh, you can read into that what you will, but she's not necessarily, it's kind of an open invitation. Though she does make kind of a veiled uh, comment about, you know, there may come a time when uh, there'll be those who are with me and those who aren't, um, and it kind of leaves it at that. Um, and Scott is very grateful to you all and happy to see you. Uh, the one who knows immediately upon returning home goes up to the top um, of the mound and beyond and sits up on the ruined second floor, just looking like uh, it did when you found it. Um, and uh, thus, um, your time at Old Maids uh, comes to a conclusion as she sends you out to go back to your den. When with you, some scraps. With some scraps. With some scraps. Yeah. Yes, including your key, um, which is worth two scrap for your pack. It is not only you know valuable, but it is of legend uh, to capture the keys of a uh, rat catcher. So um, you. I'm gonna have... like rally everyone and say, I want everyone to say, "Good girl waffles." Good girl, girl waffles. waffles. Good, girl, Good girl, girl waffles. Waffles. Good girl waffles. Good girl waffles. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys are coming in and celebrating, perhaps having your voices uh, echoing through the sewers, um, you um, are surprised to see um, the young boy and one of the girls come running out toward the sound of your voice. Um, and looking somewhat flushed and panicked um, as they look to you um, and they lead you back into your den um, where they gesture and point um, and with tears in his eyes the ten year old boy gestures to the bed of one of the girls and she is not there oh god and that is where we have to end it for the night <laughs> oh <laughs> Oh, no. Man. I'm sorry to end it on that, but so positive. <laughs> hey, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, you guys gotta remember the blades in the dark, all right? We're in dust wall here. Yeah. <laughs> Let us not forget. Yeah, we're running a really moody campaign next week. So. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that ties in, I guess, in the future. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But um that is uh that is Dogs in the Bark and the Contra Bark tonight. Yeah, that was very fun. Set. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Um, Graham, what's coming up on Ghostlight RPGs? Ooh, we've got some stuff. I don't know if we've officially announced it, but, uh, well, first of all, we'll say tomorrow we have our continuing series, Moonshay Isles Rising Shadows, which is a charity series that we're streaming um, for the Rising Shadows storyline, which is part of Dungeons & Dragons Adventurers League. But this series is to benefit Jasper's Game Day, an organization that promotes suicide awareness and prevention. Um, awesome cause. And we've been streaming every Tuesday now for, uh, this will be our seventh session. Um, and we're gonna be wrapping up the first half of the storyline um, a week from tomorrow. So tomorrow is our seventh. We'll have one more after that. Uh, and that's tomorrow's our sixth and the seventh will be our last for the first half. Uh, we've got some amazing guests joining us. We have Diana D'Amico. We have Chris Gideon. We have Sean Banerjee. We have, uh, if I forget someone, I'm going to feel guilty. The Noir Enigma. Very, very cool people joining us. So thank you so much, everyone uh, who's going to be with us. Thanks for watching up to this point. Um, really looking forward to that. So that's tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central Time. And then, uh, really cool, on Friday, we are premiering a new series, which is Animon's Story, 
a role playing game uh, which kind of evokes the like um, Pokemon Digimon sort of uh, like anime Ooh. style where characters have uh, like a little critter that joins them in the adventures and we've got some awesome characters we'll be showing a premiere video here uh, on the Twitter so keep your eye out for our announcement I'm nice. really really looking forward to that that's going to be run by Emma Carter and going to feature some of our other uh, cool. bestie friends from Ghost Light so, so that'll be every Friday for a few weeks. Awesome. Uh, that is cool. And then we're back next week with the contraband uh, back on our normal, our, our regularly programmed uh, uh, dark and moody blades in the dark games. Um, so look forward to that as well. Other than that, this was an awesome night. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for playing all of you. Thank you players. Yeah. You're awesome. Um, and I think we could throw it to Raid um, if we would like. I see Joshua uh, Simons. Yeah, Josh Simons, uh, uh, one of the Jasper's Game Day ambassadors. So. Oh, awesome. Oh, All right, well, cool. fantastic. Yeah, really great streamer. Well, stick it around, and we will throw it to a Raid. Thank you again, everybody, and we hope to see you at future games. Yay, Bye, thanks, everyone. everyone. Bark, bark, woof, woof. Bark, bark, woof, woof. <laughs>